to you by Sean Porter Promotions. Yes, sir. Welcome to the Portaway Podcast. We live Blue Wire Studios inside the Wynn Hotel and Casino. I practiced that on my way up here. I got that through. Mm-hmm. We here, man. Yeah, man. Uh, great, great. It was a great week of boxing. It was big for the sport. Great week. We back here. Yeah, like when you said a great week, it was a great week for boxing. For boxing. Yeah, not a great week of boxing. Like we didn't yeah. have, you know, but it was a great week and I think uh, for anyone who was involved with this promotion, it was like, it was just home run, home runs. You know what I mean? And I feel like Portaway Podcast had quite a few home runs, and yeah. definitely want to thank all of our fans who tuned in, the new fans we may have acquired mm-hmm. through the course of this week. And you know, I've been saying for a long time, bigger and better. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I do feel like we're arriving. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? You know, you never arrive for the sake of words, but I do feel like in a lot of ways. We are we we've already established like what the Portaway podcast is, what the Portaway is, what mm-hmm. we do. But I think we're starting to arrive, and people who may have maybe have overlooked us or just thought, you know, it's it's Sean. You know, like everyone is starting to really just arrive. You know what I mean? And uh, man, what was you doing? You I've never seen you. Never had a regular job, but you was over there knocking out eight hour days. Yeah, ten hour days. <laughs> I arrive and you already they're like Sean's been here. Doing interviews already. Yeah, I leave. You still doing interviews? Yeah. So what was your schedule like this week? Last I week? am like I don't do it on purpose. It's just my heart, you know. What okay. I mean? And and I hear I give you an example and and shout out. So shout out to Chill, my guy Daryl um, Mitchell, Daryl Daryl Chill Mitchell. We were chilling this morning, but um, it, it, you guys should know Chill from House Party. But uh, I went and hung out with him last night at the fight. Mm-hmm. I went and did my hit with the zone. Thank you, the zone, for hiring me. Uh, and they hired me like twice through la- once last week and then again this week. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I definitely want to thank the zone and shout out the zone for all of the the work that they gave me this week. But if it wasn't for the zone, I wouldn't even been at the fight last night. Okay, the ticket's too hot. Gotcha. And I just wasn't asking for this one. Gotcha. And especially wasn't gonna ask for two yeah, for this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. And end up all the way in the back. Not yeah, that I have yeah. a problem being in yeah. the back, but I I don't like to be far away from security yeah. and especially at tank events. And it just was not happening. Uh, so thank you to the zone for for getting me in there. And I still didn't have a ticket while I was there, so I was kind of roaming with my uh with my credential, or whatever. But I found myself with chill. I found chill after I finished my stuff with the zone, and we sat there and we just talked while we were talking. People were steadily coming up and taking pictures with me. And a couple of times they said, yo, what you doing up here? You're not sitting up here. I'm like, no, 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 I'm not sitting. Oh, yeah, that don't make sense. But what you doing up here? You know what I mean? Like, but this is just my heart. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I, I had an opportunity to see a friend. So I'm going to go chill with the friend. Mm-hmm. And even though I know that I'm kind of in no man's land, anything could happen, it's my heart. And I think people know my heart to the point where they're like, he's going to be cool. Whatever mm-hmm. happens, happens. You know what I mean? We're not, nobody's just out to get me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the point of me telling that story is, she was at the house this morning and he says, Porter, you don't realize what you did. You brought the floor to the to the to the to the to the to the rafters. Right, yeah. He said, You brought the floor to the rafters. And I was like, yo, I didn't even think about it like that. He said, You don't realize how many of them people up there get have to look down to see y'all. Yeah. He said, I looked down a couple of times and people was looking up at you. Yeah. He said, That's that's who you Is are to Sean boxing. Yeah. Like, yeah. He said, That's who you are to boxing, but that's just kind of how I move, you know. Yeah. And even though I had the po- the Portaway podcast in the media room, it was like still go around and promote this yeah, fight yeah. and do your hits. You know what I mean? And 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 give what you can give to this sport and to to this fight. You know. And, and one thing about the Portaway podcast, we're not haters. Not hey, we all. have no problem having out another uh, podcast, yeah. another channel. We'll go on another channel. We'll do interviews. Yeah, yeah. We'll promote you on yeah, our channel. Yeah. Shout it's, out to Marcus Hayes. He, yeah. He's with yeah, shout um, out to Marcus Hayes. Uh, Fight Hub, Fight Hub? Yep. Yeah, that's my guy. And he's with Fight Hub, and I had to go up in the ring. I said, "Yo, you want to come in?" Yep. Like I don't like. Hey. I understand like to to a degree. I'm a we're competitors, but I'm I'm here to share the wealth, man. I'm a, I'm I'm trying to share all my blessings. And shout out to uh, Marcus Hayes because uh, he wanted me to let you know that he understand he left you with moist ears. Oh man! But he got out of there before. Uh, did, did you say something to him about no, it? He said he came up to me about oh, it. Yeah. He said I already know. 
He said, but you see how I'll be sweating, but yeah. I got out of there before. You on he, <laughs> so you're, and, 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 the you gonna see this it. You are on probate, you are on Portaway Podcast probation. Cause that ain't make no sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Some I ain't people, gonna embarrass yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. But, Some people do. And he but he's good at what he does. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, I wanted him to come on. I didn't you know I didn't watch the show, so and, I don't uh, know how I went. But. Some of the favorite interviews I did from last week, baby. Yeah, uh, Louisiana home. Shout so, out to hey man, we had a good time. Yeah. That was good energy. I know you did a few interviews without me. Is there one that popped in your head that you like? Man, I had a fun time with that guy. On the well, board. you know what? Two of them. One, we'll, we'll promote our Patreon right now, real quick. Okay. Um, <laughs> we'll right. promote the Patreon real I'm quick. I'm talking about one I was there. Uh, man, no, you no, did no. during the week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, all right, uh, good. no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, so Dre been asking to get on the show and. And and it was, I made it clear. I said, "Yo, this one is for the Patreon. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna try to take this interview some spaces. Eventually, places. It will, we about a month. It'll be on YouTube, but it'll be on Patreon if you want it, early access. That's Man. how you do business. Yeah. That's how oh, you do business. Oh, oh. Hey, if you would you explain him how you do business? <laughs> Don't explain it. All right. All right, cool. But I'm but I'm picking up what you putting down. I'm picking yeah. up what you put down. But I, I did the interview with Dre. Uh, I thought I was gonna have 90 with him. Uh, they gave me 60. I think I got about 68 out of it, and that was that was great. Mm -hmm. And we had uh, uh, quite a few great moments. Definitely want to encourage you guys to go to our Patreon and subscribe to that. Mm -hmm. It'll be up soon. I got a few, just a few things I want to talk to our producer about before we get that up. But it'll be up uh, when our producer gets some rest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. But it will definitely be up on our Patreon by the end of this week. Uh, exclusive interviews like that, um, whether they're one-on-one -on -one or they're and not both, that one's specific, and I know we kind of talked yeah. about that the other week and got a few things I want to talk to you about, too, in terms of the business because I want to be able to really expand what we're doing. But I felt like that that, that definitely uh, commanded more the one-on-one -on -one, uh, with Dre. So I went on ahead and did that with him. And um, But like I told you soon. at one time, like when it's sometimes when it's world champions and legends in the ring, and I, don't, I, some, I can't jump in that conversation. Yeah. I don't know what it's like. So sometimes I sit back and I'll be a fan. I admire I you thought guys about going you. back and forth. I thought about you once, maybe twice while we were doing the interview because yeah. you had said that the one time. And there were a couple of times where we were talking. It was like, it was just. Yeah, there's no need for ant. Champion talk. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? or it was so, just, you know, yeah. I know people say that like, man, you ain't say nothing. Like, you wasn't there, man. Ha ha. I think that that would have been a good oh, yeah, one with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Ha ha. That would have been a good yeah. one with you. But ha ha Davis was great. Uh, I expected it to be just nothing but funny, fun. Yeah. And we kind of really, we took it some places I ain't expected yeah. to go. And it just kind of, it is how it goes with me, I guess. Um, I don't know, man. I, like, I, I, I guess I kind of have a, a different mind. And I'm, I'm like really like into the psychology of, of, of life. And so even with Ha Ha, I was like, let me ask this guy some questions yeah. that, you know, people probably don't normally ask him. You know what I mean? So he said he was dropping, wing, he was dropping wings at, at KFC. And yeah. he, did, he didn't expect to be where he was at. And he said he, he moved from KFC to some state house or something like Texas Roll uh, House. It was, uh, it was the uh, the Outback. Yeah, oh, the Outback, yeah. yeah. I heard the story then, before. Yeah, and then he said, I went from the Outback. And he said, I left work and never looked back. Yeah. You know? And uh, that was probably probably the fun, one of the funnest okay. interviews that we did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Booker T was in the building uh -huh. oh yeah and and we were waiting so long on all them guys and i i i, I was trying to put in the work out but mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of work so we went from oscar to bernard we went from bernard to oscar and a, a couple of others you got oscar oscar on? yeah we got oh, oscar on. you missed that you missed Dang that it. yeah 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 you tell um, what's up yeah no i didn't no i didn't hey. but yeah i don't know what, what would happen if you he know, was there we missed tank and ryan all week yeah Gotta make them happen. It kind of is what it is. Yeah, yeah. You know? We we still make the best of what yeah, we got. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We got absolutely. Calvin Ford on. I want to try to get both those guys on the show at the same time. That and then nice. I won't need that energy. That would be nice. I mean, between us, we. I mean, I think they're respectful now. But you said respectful. Yeah. Uh, I thought yeah. you said they're disrespectful. No, nah, it's respectful. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean, you talk all that before the fight, and we, yeah. we you know, we Aunt Tank was like, "Nah, ain't no friends here. Ain't no friends yeah. here." But it's like I always say, and and then I also say what Tank said. He's gonna he gonna feel me. Like he kept saying that he gonna feel me, mm -hmm. and I loved it every time I heard it because I knew mm -hmm. what he was saying. But you can't help but feel your your opponent, mm -hmm. even if your opponent don't land a hand on you. When you looking in the eyes of another man, you know what that man's thinking and all. That, like you 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 exchange so much energy and so many different like thoughts and the movements is so like in sync, and you trying to get that guy off of his thing. 
it's like at the end of the ring, at the end of the fight, he felt you tank. You felt Ryan too. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, we'll and when you when you're at your best in the ring with with the best, we'll get to that too. But or you know, it, you can't help but go to that level. You know what I mean? So the respect was bound to be there, whether they wanted it to be or not. You know? Yeah. And uh, you know, they was talking about when uh, Ryan came out. He had the. Uh, I was disappointed by both walkouts. Uh, well, you got thrown in there. Uh, let's talk about when Ryan came out. They were like, "This is church music." It was. I said, "I, I said, who do you think he is, Sean Porter?" <laughs> and then, then everybody starts saying, "Oh yeah, he's gonna get whooped because he came oh, out with the church music." No, you know the only people that true. You know the only people that never really come out with church music. That's I, not the I get, truth. <laughs> okay, it's not the truth. Well, you know, you came out with church, Ryan. Uh, Evander Holyfield was yeah. one, another one that yeah. came out the uh, gospel. I was yeah. saying somebody gospel. somebody said, but uh, no, I'm not. All right, you you went from uh, the gospel music to some. He went to he went way street. No, you talking about uh, the uh, last? One? I'm talking about with Tank. So no, oh. I'm not even talking about you. Uh, uh, I'm talking uh, about uh, these two guys. Come <laughs> so yeah. it's like, oh man, this dude on some this dude on some killer stuff. Yeah, you got God behind you. That's hey. him. I'm like, you got God behind you, but he got streets behind him. That's different. God I, don't can't wanna, I don't even want to get into God, a religious God, conversation God can't right get now. Me, God, don't, don't get me going on that. Do not get me going on that. I want to make this clear. All right. All right. Uh, all right. All right go ahead. I'm going to do it. Okay. And I want to make this clear. Hey, you know, clear. it's Sunday, right? Yes. You speaking the word? No. You yeah. See, uh, hey, you see yeah, my shirt saying, right? Listen. You look like a deacon. No. Straight up, though. Okay. Just because Tank Davis did not come out to, to Christian music. Just because Tank Davis oh, okay. does I not see going. Yeah. publicly yeah. Uh, speak uh, about God, speak about God, acknowledge God. God, and things like that, it does not mean he doesn't have a relationship with God. It does Thank not you. mean yeah. he's not a Christian. Yes. It just means, guess what? I'm a Christian, and there's certain days when I go to the gym, I just gotta have my Lupe yeah. mix on. It's days when I go to when I go to the gym and I have my 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 fight night. A, a playlist song which mm -hmm. is nothing but gospel mm -hmm. it ma it doesn't make me any more or less of a christian because yeah. i choose to listen to certain or I choose to do a certain in order for him to go out there and do what he got to do that's just how he does it yeah, it just puts him in his own it does do not judge that man's walk yeah don't... and i don't like that people do that uh, yeah the sh other sh side hey, of that hey, hey, hey shout out to my mama <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start name i'm just name dropping over here the other side of that and i know i said i wouldn't go there and i'm gonna make this quick just because Ryan lost last night, that don't put an X on God. That don't put an X oh, no. on Christian. It don't put an X on Christianity. It just means that that was not his night. It just means that he's just not that. He's we'll we'll, we'll get there yeah, in yeah. terms of who Ryan is we'll as a fighter. Way there, yeah. We'll get there in terms of who. But at the end of it all, he still said, "I want to." He still acknowledged God. He still acknowledged Christ. The worst thing that could have happened was he came out to the Christian music, and then at the end of it. Because the fight didn't go the way he said it was gonna go, he let go of it all. And I'm gonna just kind of leave it right there. But I just don't, I, I don't like when people look at your tattoos, or they look at your braids, or they look at where you come from, and that and that defines you. I, mm -hmm. I don't like that. Don't judge a book by its cover. And I'll spin it real quick to okay. me. Okay. When a turn pro I had braids, and my dad said you gotta cut your hair, and I was mad. Didn't want to cut my hair. My dad said you need to cut your hair for two reasons. Number one, if you Make somebody miss, but your hair is waving in the air. It may give the judges the impression that you got hit. You don't want anything to go against you in the ring when it comes to the judges. He says, the other thing is that braids you have it has a bad, uh, a bad, right. Im a bad rap, a bad image, yeah. and you cannot carry that image. And so my dad had somebody else talk to me. Shout out to Poncho, my cousin. He's actually in town right now. He had Poncho talk to me, and pa I, Poncho was you know kind of advocating for my dad. I said, my, why can't I have? He said. After you get going, you solidify who you are. Then you can grow the hair back. Yeah. I said no, no, no. I said I'm Chill. gonna. I said I'm gonna be the one that 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 changes uh the persona the persona of of black men, young men with braids. Yeah. He said, well, going to do that after you solidify who you are. Yeah. I said, all right, cool. And that's exactly what I did. So we made the deal. Once you get going, and you become who you become. Then you can get the hair. You can get the braids. But because I don't got tattoos or because I don't do the rap music all the time or because I have I don't speak a certain way, people not judging me the way they judge they the way they judge Tank. You know what I mean? But your image means a lot. Yeah. I think even with the way Tank handled the post fight, 
press the the post fight interview. I think that he gained fans from 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 the way he conducted himself. Man, in he's growing up, man. Yeah, man. And I love it. you can see the maturity yeah, in man. the kid. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Floyd Mayweather. It's time to let it go. <laughs> we, got a new, we got a new man on the block, bro. I love Floyd. y'all. Know he's my go, <laughs> Floyd, man. Floyd, uh, Floyd, first off, get off, first off, get off, get off Hafey. First off, okay, the the white boy that you was on, his name Ryan Hafey. Get off his shoulder. He was leaning on Ryan. Did you know that? Yeah. Uh, leaning on him, yelling. Who? While he's trying to take pictures. What? Floyd yeah, Mayweather. Me, you can let him man. I'm confused. What's <laughs> happening? Uh huh. Can we get his mic on? Jake, throw the right hook. And, and I'm just <laughs> wiggling around. And, yeah. yeah, but I, I told him, I turned around and I said, if you're going to be leaning on me the whole fight, yeah. you got to get a photo. So yeah. got, a, got a good picture out of it. It was worth it. That's fun. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. But no, I just think, uh, man, you've seen greatness last night, but yeah. the kids growing up. Hey, shit, real quick. We got a super chat. Go shot ahead. Go ahead. If this is the real Derrick James, shout out to Derrick James. That's not Derrick James. I, it says Derrick James. Is that Derrick James? It says Derrick James. So I'm going to say, it's, it just tank Ryan recap. Uh, yes, sir. It's coming. It's going to come a little sooner because you because you done tuned in and uh, it told us to give it to you. So, and I'm definitely there. I'm I'm going I'm to be, I'm going to be uh, straight up with this. There are certain things I'm not going to Touch. say about this fight from an X and an O's perspective because this young man tank has a long way to go. There's things that I realize, there's things that I know and I saw in this fight, and it is not my, it is not, I don't have, it, how do I even say that? I, I'm, I cannot divulge this information because I can't be, it's not, it's, it's up to whoever's preparing for Tank for y'all to figure out, how about figure this? it out. How about this? We praise Tank for what the, he did last night on this show. And as a OG in the game and big bro, like when you had the interview with him, you hit up, you hit up Tank. You tell him little little things he need to work on. Yeah, he'll listen to you. Oh no 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 no, mm -hmm. no no no. What? And somebody asked in uh, you, you during don't do the that? week. No, but somebody asked during the week. Like, what are his weaknesses? Number one, yeah. I don't really like yeah. the term, the expression weaknesses. Like, what are his deficiencies? Yeah. I like that word better. It's the same thing, yeah. but I like that word better. I don't see any. So from yeah, I'm not saying that I'm not, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not I, saying I didn't that, see what you were saying, but I was like, maybe, you know, he been in there. Yeah. You see something I don't see. I just see I see I see game plan. Uh -huh. I see I see how he operates and it is not up to me to to uh <laughs> it's not up to me. It's not up to me to disclose how he operates so that other people are prepared for it. So I'm not gonna do that. But we are definitely gonna get into it. Um, Kina, uh, Kina Wilts, she said, or he's, he, he, he said, all respect, <laughs> Ryan just gave up. We're going to get into that. Um, real quick, my <laughs> guy. Yeah, I know he and his microphone ain't on, which is a good, really good thing. Why, he, why are you coming with look it? Look, no, 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 okay, Don't even okay. feed it to it. Don't even feed it to it. And I'll slide down just a little bit. But uh, don't don't feed into that. It's okay. A situation in here, bro. He's, he's a great guy. Yo, he's a great guy. I don't want no problems. He probably with my ass. No, not at all. He is so okay. So and <laughs> and I spoke about you earlier, uh, and, and and I was positive about everything I said earlier. So just what so did, you know, what did you say, bro? I said I love I love Daryl Chill Mitchell. I love you too, bro. But I was just telling everybody what you said that this morning about me being, you know, at the top, and nah, you know, the way people let me was... explain it, bro, because <laughs> I lived it. Yeah. You know, you was everybody like, chill. Daryl chill. Daryl chill met you in the building, man. Y'all know me and CIS and all that other <laughs> stuff. What's up, big guy? What's up, man? I ain't see you, dog. Nah, I was telling SP, man. I said, yo, you came up to see me, right? Because I was, I came in and they, you know, usually get the handicap accessible seating in the middle, but this time <laughs> I was so high. God said. What's all the noise? And I said, Lord, the the fight will be over soon, Lord. So you can. He was trying to rest, <laughs> so he could hear us because we were so high. He was trying to. We rest. were so high up in the in the stands, say, God could hear us. But nah, SP came through. Oh. 
and was just kicking it with me up in the handicap section. And people was walking by, flipping out, because the opportunity of getting to rub elbows with any celebrity, it was going to be like, you know, it's unobtainable. What you're doing, you're looking down, and you're seeing all the celebrity going on. And when he came through, they was like, he, I told him, you, you put them in the front row. Yeah. By coming up there and just kicking it. And it was funny because nobody even realized I was up there. But then they saw him, then they saw, like, who he talking to? <laughs> they're like, yo, that's chill from house party. That yeah. whole thing. So, you know, taking pictures, laughing, joking, kicking it. But it just, it dawned on me when I'm looking at everybody, I'm like, yo, man. Not, you know, it ain't just that I'm a celebrity. He's a fighter. Yeah. yeah. And they know that. You heard that kid? He said, yo, my dad, you, you are my dad's favorite fighter. Yep. yep. He said, yo, you was my dad's favorite fighter, man. Can I please get a picture? Dude obliged. Everybody took pictures with him. I said, yo, Sean, man, you, you just put these people in the front row. They got a chance. You brought the front row up top. And it was like, yo, man, it was, it was something to watch, man. So, you know, sometimes you make, you make a difference in people's lives and you don't even realize it. Yeah, man. You were uh, busy on the phone trying to get you. Help your wife <laughs> to get her pay per view going, yeah. and these people are losing their mind. Like, yeah, because now they feeling the aura. Yeah, it was dope, bro. Yeah, thanks, man. It was hey, dope. I want to get into the fight, and I'm glad you're here because you can definitely talk that game. And I want you to come talk that right now with me, real quick. Jordan Chapman is Tank Power really that crazy? Um, yes, <laughs> yes. And but you have to understand what you have to understand is it's 135 pound crazy. So he can whack at 135 pounds. He can whack like he's a middleweight. Mm. But he's a whacking 135 pounders like that. So no, a middleweight ain't going to fall. Or I'm not going to say no, but I don't think the effect is going to be the same at middleweight. But that power that he carries for the weight class he's in is serious. And may, that may be over generous, maybe more like welterweight. He said, yeah, yeah, it's a little, a little too generous. <laughs> what? More like, no, 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 no. <laughs> what I think, you talking I, about? No, I think it's not. I think, no? Yeah, I think and that's legit. Power? What? Power? His power is real, real, real. Yeah. Yo, I can mention another fighter on here, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. No, we don't do that shit. Mention whoever you want. No, I had a conversation. You, I told you I spoke to, right? No. I had spoke oh, Zab Judah. Oh, yeah, yeah you Zab did. was on the show. Okay, Zab had invited me to this thing he was doing. And I told Zab, I can't come because I'd already RSVP for the fight. And he was like, I figured you was going to go. Who you got? So jokingly, I said, I'm betting on you. So, I, you know, I let him, he was like, yo, I'm taking Tank in four. So I'm sitting there like, dang, I'm thinking five. But then I went and placed the bet. So I started talking to SP. He was like, you know what? Now he giving me his whole take on the whole thing. Threw you off. I'm about to cry. Because now I'm, <laughs> I'm like, yo, this dude killing my dream right in front of me. This is after you made the better before. After. after. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I tell you why you ain't calling me. I, now I'm sitting there. Well, baby, they call me. I'm the Chico. <laughs> now, but they're killing me. But, Joe, I want you to see. I want you to read what I told Zab right here. He said, I figured you was going to the fight. And what did I, and what did I say? I would so bet on you. Jokingly, and then what did he say? I got Tank four round KO. And what did I say? I got Tank fifth round liver shot. Oh. What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got Tank fifth round liver shot. What I said by who? By Tank. What did he hit him with? Liver shot. <laughs> caught him in the liver. <laughs> he caught him in the liver. I said five round liver shot. It was a seven round liver shot. Yeah. You, know, you know your shit about boxing. Come man. on, man. You just, you think, man, come on, man. <laughs> Olu, Stop playing, bro. Olu, real quick. Uh, called it. And, I, and we got sent pounds, so that's that's probably uh, London, not sure. But Ryan reminds me of Khan fast, but defensively is shaky. Yeah, I agree. Um, fast, not even his, because Khan was fast with his hands. Uh, Ryan is fast with a with a hand being the jab hand. Then he's fast with a counter. He's fast. He's got the fast twitch. He can he can rip it really fast. Problem with this fight was both fighters are counter punchers. So 
one guy had to lead off. And when that guy leads off, he gets countered. You had to have known I'm a counter puncher. This guy is not going to punch first. So I got to be ready to counter the counter. And I all respect, I all respect to Joe Goose. And I, I mean, I, me and Joe have kicked it. Joe is, oh, yeah. but I think you missed something right there because in the game plan, I didn't see you, I didn't see you work. There he is. There he is going to golf. Look at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't see, I didn't see game plan for a southpaw. I saw a game plan for a small, stocky, power punching fighter. I didn't okay. see game plan for a, for a southpaw. Mm. And okay, and that was that was hard. That was that was that was like hard for me to see. What a what a, a trainer coach like Joe Goose. Yeah, Jordan Chapman, Kenny Crack, like Arrow and top welterweights. That, and that's what I said when I think that's a little too gener generous. I think he could he could put it together, but I don't know if he cracks hard like a welterweight. He never hit me with nothing crazy, but I mean, I just I saw it live in action. But you know, you it's sparring is one thing, then 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 the fight's another mm -hmm. thing. But I definitely got to honor these super chats when they come in, and I want to honor. You don't got to send in a, a super chat in order for you to get recognized, but we are gonna yeah. try to talk and also talk to y'all at the same time and and, and yes, answer y'all questions. Yes, you do. We ain't wearing nothing unless it's a super chat. Oh. <laughs> no, what no, I, what I, I say my, earlier? Matter of fact, it's ten dollars or more. What I say It's ten dollars or more. Okay, ten dollars or more. That's my heart, y'all. Sorry. That's oh, it's being heart. nice. <laughs> Man, that's my heart. Nice don't pay the bills. Not at all. I can't eat a nice sandwich. Not at all. <laughs> but let's get let, so let's there get into it. And I'm gonna break down what I said to you, and then we just really gonna get into it. All right. When you said you had a fourth round uh stoppage by tank, yeah. I just said, mm -mm. You sure did. And I just kind of mathematically I said, uh I said he doesn't the first round is basically a wash. He he's gonna he was. he's gonna throw 10 punches or less. He probably threw five. I don't know what copy box yeah. show, but he might have threw five, give or take. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong and he threw a little bit more than well, that, but he didn't throw anything significant. No. You know what I mean? The first so the first round. round's a wash. Then the second round, heat it up. Yeah. And we can go back to how I heat it up, but I'm a but just for the sake, I said the second round is probably gonna be a wash too. I said it's gonna start to heat up right around third round or maybe the halfway through. The third round, I said, but the the fight ain't really gonna get going to the fourth round. Right. I said, right, so you right, looking you at yeah. you looking at maybe five rounds if 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 it but heats up say, like that. You say he probably get rolling by about three and a half. Yeah, I said, but if somebody gets stopped, it, it, we if we talking about stoppage, we talking eight rounds or more, and we got it in seven. Right. So, uh, let's talk about that first round. Yo, what what is nothing? It was a fill out round, Sean. It was. It, I mean, oh, hold on, hold on. Tank was doing his math, bro. Hold on. <laughs> hey, shout out to my man Reggie. We gotta stop. <laughs> we gotta stop this. Hey, 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 hey. hey ten dollars came in. Hey, ten dollars. Chat. Super chat. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, 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 shout out to my man Reggie. That, that's my guy. He hit me up every time he in town. That's what's and up. And we see each other every fight. Uh, shout out to my man Reggie, man. Reg, said, that's what, what up, up, big aunt? Yeah. Chill and Sean yeah, just showing love. Too. Hey, Reg, my my, my cash app is. <laughs> <laughs> and shout out to Yaya. Yaya, we seen you. Yeah, Sean. Yaya. Sean, yeah, she usually see Sean at the fights. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah you, you did we take a picture? Uh, she said she missed you this fight. Oh, okay. So I just want to get these super chats because I feel like you, you missed a couple. No, no, no. Jordan missed... Chapman, you yeah, did that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you didn't. No, just shout out to Jordan Chapman. She asked about her. Okay. He asked yeah, about oh, you missed Yaya. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, I had to get my man Reggie, man. Shout out to my man yo. Reggie. Yo. But yeah, Sean, the first round was a full out round. Was, Nothing it happened. Was, he, was, he, was, he was sizing them up. Yeah. Game he was plan. sizing them up, but the whole game time. plan. But game plan. If I know you start slow, oh. if I know this first round you're oh. looking at me, I'm going to establish the center of the ring. I'm going to establish my game plan and show everybody, and including obviously show you're you. You're talking about Ryan. Yes, that right. I'm ready for the that I'm ready to fight. Right, right. And that right. don't mean standing in the center of the ring throwing 50 punches, but because he threw five, that means you're gonna throw 10. Because he threw 10 at me, you gonna be hesitant and throw 15? What what what, what was your game plan? Mm. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Because you're a mm. counter puncher, okay, cool, but you know that there's not gonna be anything for you to counter. So where was your game plan? Okay, okay, but we spoke patience. With Tank, you gotta be patient. When he turned it up, we 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 seen that moment and at my house, we like, no, 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 don't do this. 
He threw the same combination two times. In the then second he, round? Yeah. And uh -huh. then he threw another one. As soon as he threw it, he threw one shot on the combination. He got caught. Yeah. Let me tell Patience. you something. I said it. We were sitting down. My man was there. I said, yo, this is the worst thing he can do because all he going to do is run into a shot. Shot. Yeah. Because hey, I, I said, yo, this kid is no game. I said, he sizes you up. I said, you don't understand. This, yo, his yo tank be calculating as he as he go. Computer. It, it, it ain't low. I'm going to go back to the corner, and I'm going to make adjustments. Yo, he makes them on the fly. Here's what y'all don't know about, or maybe y'all do. I'm going to just say it. Tank is a master at range and distance. Oh, but a lot of fighters, they they establish the range and the distance with the jab and with combinations and things like that. He just feel it. Dude, it was amazing. That's why I love watching him, bro. I love watching him for that reason. Yeah, because you can see him thinking. Ooh. Yeah. And, and and But the thing about him, too, is like, what the thing that worried me is he ain't afraid. Yeah. I'm scared he just like, I'll take a punch because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you I know five. You, I know what you're going to get. Hurt. Return. Yeah. Yeah. I yes. thought um I thought we were gonna have two if not three rounds of chess. The first round was somewhat chess, kind of take pull away from. I gave Ryan the first round, but I kind of pull away from it because I'm like I still didn't see a game plan within within what you wanted to do. You, you didn't know? give him no credit for at least trying to dirty the it first up round? a little bit. Oh no, you mean in the second Ryan, round? Just trying to dirty. Oh it. no, no, one hundred percent. He was fighting through all that shit like Benavides and Plant. In that second round, where yeah. he really started to kind of, yeah. and that's what he was supposed to do. Yeah. So again, we talking about game plan here. Game plan don't mean jab, step left, jab, step right. Mm -hmm. That's not what I mean about game plan. Guess what? Roughing Ryan up, or excuse me, roughing Tank up in that second round. That was a part of the game plan. Was, when he gets close. Try to get loose and try to get off some clean shots. When he when he when he when he gets close, rough him up and and do whatever it takes to that. hurt him. For sure, I'm I do give you one hundred percent credit for that. But and no. I thought, but no. ten ten. What? Uh, yeah. the, uh that second uh, round he got dropped. Yeah, right? yeah. That's ten. That was still a ten eight round. That's a ten eight no, round. That was on a legit official, ten eight on round. official scorecards. How? That's a legit 10 a round. And and again, you can come back or you could do enough after getting dropped where you're like, oh, I don't know. He might have tied it up, whatever the case may be. He but didn't. No, but Sean, when he got dropped against Earl, he said he felt like he came back and tied the round. No, I never said that. You didn't no, say I that? I never said that. You didn't say that. You said what? No, no, no. Squeeze, you didn't say that. Squeeze, squeeze me. Squeeze me. Listen. What? Pause, I said. Playboy. <laughs> I know. I threw me off. You didn't say that? You. Adrian Brown. When I got oh, dropped against A B, okay, 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 okay. I got up. You felt like that was one hundred percent tied that round. Ah, it can be done. <laughs> <laughs> it can be done. <laughs> Wait a minute, bro. It that can be a, done. Hey Sean, what's that one's a ten eight. That one's a ten eight. It's a ten eight. eight. Who? You will get it back. That was a ten eight. No, you lost the round, Sean. No. Go ahead with that. Hey, go man. back to my fight. No, I ain't going against, back against A B. I ain't going and back and find out hey, what that round was scored. Hey, you got up just like that. That's a ten eight. Did I get up like that? Yeah, you look. Yeah, yeah, you did. Oh, so if you get dropped and you get up like that, it's <laughs> automatic ten eight. Yes, it is a ten eight. I don't even what y'all say. I, both I, I your, tied that. Both your gloves is on the ground. Hold Derek, on, hold on, hold on. Crawford should have been a ten seven. We got on your stomach. Derek James, oh, sending the dollar just dropped. so that you can get the super chat and I can see hey, your, yo, your, your your comment. Tell me if my fight with AB hey, and, and I got. Tell me if that if that twelve round was a tie round, please. You do, you do know Sean is my friend, bro. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Talking about that should be a ten seven because you was on your belt. <laughs> I, I, I mean, huh? I, for who? In your That's fight. Fine. In your fight. Uh, uh, oh, everybody gave him a ten eight. Hey, you you should have called the commission. That's right. Argue that. Sure Argue that. <laughs> hey, was that the only round he lost? You tied in that up? fight. That's been, you, you tied it up, man? Absolutely. Was that the only yeah, round you lost in that right. fight, Sean? Absolutely. Well, oh, yeah, I, I, I tied that round, you know? <laughs> I tied that round. Oh, you didn't even lose a round. Nah, I, didn't even, I didn't lose a round in that fight. All right, you was the worst. But no, no, you give him credit for the rough up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then what I had a problem with was, and I liked that he was going after him, but it was like, it, when you have experience, and, and and you know that yo I've I've won this round. Hey, after, super chat. So we after, coming back. We coming back after a half a round or something like that. Just pull back. I won this round. I did enough work. 
pullback. Mm. And that's mm. that's get, what I wanted to see. I wanted because I, I like the roughing up. I like that you were establishing. Hey, I'm get, here. But get back. Then just then just pull back. Trump, I, he, he the patience. We we but seen you the young and that it's, you like yeah, I, I, I I acquired patience yeah. through the fight with Keith Thurman. Yeah. Like after I fought Keith, that's when I was like, yo, I got to learn how to, you know, be patient and not go after it all, all the time. You know? Yeah, because you, you, you only knew one gear. Yeah, yeah. Go, like go, smoke. Go. Yeah. yeah, one yeah. gear. 24 yeah. years old. He turned pro 2016. On paper, he's not ready for this moment. On paper. On paper. Without social media, On Ryan paper. Garcia does not think, fight Tank Davis. Why yeah. not? Who he fought? He don't deserve this. Yeah. Tank fighting nothing but world champions. Uh, uh, I think. Facts. Uh, well, hold on, hold on. Since since two thousand, you right? Yeah. Don't die on me. You gotta drive. No, I just. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, since two thousand seventeen, no, when the Pedraza fight, when he stepped on stage and he let us know who he was, his opponent's been three hundred thirty four. And hold on, this car actually. Okay, wrong. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah wrong. Uh, You heard uh, Leonard uh, say uh, it, and he's like, uh, well, "Let me get that real." No, quick. no, no, no. <laughs> two two hundred ninety five uh, victories by his opponents on twelve losses. Yeah. That's yeah. that's his opponent since yeah. 2017. Wow. Garcia okay. opponents, 334. Yeah. 79 losses. Yeah. Mm. So it's like the experience, man. On paper, if you look it down, if you if we get away from the hype, but on paper. Yo, the, the stuff tank do, man. I know you say experience. Yeah. You yeah, feel like the experience won't even matter? No, that, you can't teach that. Yeah. A lot of what tank does. You cannot teach that. You can you can better prepare yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It's like getting yeah. to, used to getting the Floyd back in the day. You can better prepare yourself. <laughs> like that's level. Like that heart, that thing over there had, you yeah. can't teach that. You can't teach heart. Yeah. yeah. We got a super chat from Mike Brown XCV. He said Tank show his high ring IQ in this fight. Yes. He took away Ryan's lead hand by pawing and jabbing at it. Boom. Yes. And by touching Ryan's lead hand, he also knew when the left hook was coming. So he count he could counter. I ain't even pick up on that, Mike. So, salute to you, sir. Yeah. I ain't even pick up on that. You super chats right now. Yeah. You ain't yeah, seen. Yeah, yeah. You ain't seen when, well, when Tank well, hit him the, that, over that jab. With when that he right said hand? he's touching his lead hand, so he knows when the hook is coming. Mm. That makes a lot of sense. Mm. That makes a lot of sense. Mm. Um, from Benji. Yeah. Yeah, from Benji the the pit bull. How does Tank match up with Regis Prograde? I'm, I'm here for that fight. I'm here for that fight, yo. That's yeah. tough. That's, that's a good fight. That's yes. Tough. Hey, we don't. Even, we, I wasn't even thinking about that. That's tough. I wasn't I, even thinking about that, bro. You, you want to take a lot? It's gonna take a lot to prove to me. You got <laughs> something to do for Tank. You gonna have to. You gonna have to prove it. I don't care who you bring. That's tough. I'm here. You know I'm here. That's tough. And I ain't, mm -hmm. I ain't wanna. I kind of ah. feel like I put him under the uh, road and put him under the bus. No uh, tank. When I said that he's got welterweight power, you know, now everybody looking at well, what welterweight can he be? Don't look at that. You know, what I mean, I, I was just trying to explain for his weight class the kind of power he has, and compared you know to what? the other fighters in his weight class. That's what I say about these. It's like it's like I, I, I got to compare him to one of like Michael Jordan. That man had an ex, an exceptional talent that made everybody else look like you know. They, you're great average, but you're great players. Tank got a power. That's why I was telling people, I said, that man Ryan Garcia don't have to feel bad about nothing, bro. I don't care how much experience he would have had, like you say, the experience. Yeah. You, it, you can't overcome that power, man. Oh, man. Philly Zo. Oh, it went away. Here that it is. power, man, is ridiculous. Philly Zo, real quick, he said, don't put too much stock in Tank. Uh -oh. Dipping his head. Uh, he probably only defended against the hook. See? See, I'm bro. also convinced Ryan doesn't listen to Joe. This wasn't the Man. sharpest what? tank. This wasn't the sharpest tank, but he was accurate. Hey, what hey, fight, hey, what the, fight the, was you the, watching? This, Philly Zoe. Philly Zoe. You got something to say to him? Philly Zoe. What fight was you watching, sir? I mean, come on, man. You, if you listen, you see that man. You understand. They, they communicate on a different level, bro. I done seen it. I done been to too many of these fights, man. So it's, I understand what you're hearing, but I know what they're hearing. Trust me. That's why he's, Different how level. many you know? Mm, 29. Come on, man. He got to be listening to something. Trust and believe. Hey, on cue, we kind of already uh, thoughts on official uh, scorecards. Round oh, two. No, yeah, that round, yeah. Right. Uh, Agent XOB. My bad if I messed that up, A-Dog. 
uh, B Hop and De La Hoya <laughs> disappearing after this fight. What y'all think? Yeah. Uh, well, I shout to Sean Zatel. I was watching his stuff. He said uh, he was actually interviewing Bernard. They said they didn't come because they didn't want the extras after the fight. The uh, back and forth between Leonard and Oscar, Floyd and Oscar, and just stuff like that. They didn't want. That's what they said. They didn't want to take away from the moment from the guys. Uh, they didn't want the extras. Uh, everybody getting hyped up. I beat you. Da, 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 da. That's what they said. Oscar went on stage <clears throat> at the press conference, and I, you know I speak with as much respect as possible, but. He said that Leonard Ellaby, uh, PBC, and Mayweather don't believe in Tank. And that's why they're doing this. And that's why they're doing that. But why didn't you show up to the fight? It's public knowledge that Tank and, and Mayweather have had issues. It's public knowledge yeah. that they're not in a contract anymore. And it's public knowledge that Tank has moved on and is trying to, for the sake of words, separate himself from the the umbrella of being under Mayweather, but My Mayweather was there, wandering around. I don't know what he was doing. Yeah, he, he was, was running there. around, and I tried to say what's up, but Mayweather was there. Why, why wasn't? No, no, no. It wasn't because you wasn't trying to take away from a moment. It was because you weren't sure what that moment was gonna look like at the end. Mm. What about Joe Goosen? What about Joe? He wasn't there. What mm. you mean? What? <laughs> oh, you mean like in the post fight press conference? Yeah. It was oh. his dad, his manager. So, but they were at the fight. Yeah, and yes. Uh, I missed. I miss. I misunderstood. I misunderstood. I misunderstood. I, I misunderstood. Nah, I ain't gonna take that from because I thought you meant like they didn't come to the. Fight. That's oh, what no, I. No, no, no. When you said it was gonna take away from the moment, I was like, "What?" I guess what I said. No, I thought, yeah. at the post fight press uh, conference, you didn't say yeah. that. Yeah, my bad. You, you confused me. Yeah, that means you confused him too. You 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 leaving out some Look, pertinent details that matters. Yes. Okay. All right. My bad. Well, and okay. Well, then just to defend them, so yeah, they're gonna oh. they're gonna ask all the questions. What do you do now? Oh, okay. and what all right, happened now? All right, because you answered all that. Right, all right, I got you. Yeah, 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 so you, know, you try to I do respect I, and see? understand the fact that they weren't there after at the post fight because now it becomes let's talk to Ryan and okay. and they didn't want that in not because okay. they didn't want the heat. Or I don't know if Hafey agrees, but not, I, I think it's because they did. They just didn't yeah, want to I take agree. away from the moment of right. Ryan. Ryan being able to, you know, just kind of speak his mind he and how he felt in the moment. A, he held himself yeah, very well for sure in that in that press conference. Then Mike Brown, he, he hit him. Mike Brown, him. Tank. Oh, you know, we got that one already. Already right, got that one. Yeah, we got that. One. Okay, okay, where we at? Derek, what? what you, huh, 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 that's, yeah, no, that's not the D. Derek James. It's not. Oh, I'm no. just giving Come this guy on. all the play in the yeah, world. I'm, right I'm now. gonna create a, a Deshaun Porter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, can can Ryan beat Roley? I'm there for the fight. I'm there for the fight. I think I think, I think Ryan got a little more skills. Than he could, he I ain't gonna. I can't answer. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Porter on that you, one. You, I, you can't give me nothing. Nah, I can't. I can't give you none on that one because see, he gonna he gonna debunk whatever I say anyway. Okay, what you got, Sean Porter? Kill my whole dream last night. I'm dream. I'm uh, 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 bet on the fight. I think that's me. a tough right for, fight for Ryan. Okay. Reason being is because Roley Real is really too. unorthodox. Okay. And he and he kind of throws punches everywhere. We've seen that Roley can Roley will go left and go right and you know do a lot of different things. And yeah. Ryan's the kind of fighter that kind of needs you in front of him. You know, mm -hmm. at least yeah. from what I can see, he needs you in front of him, you know. Um I wanna do uh, big <laughs> big yeah, like, fan Sean. Derek like James is my last night, government. Just, I'm yeah. a rapper. Just, <laughs> my artist no name is behind. Judah Israel. I got a fit. That resembles Arrow crazy. I don't know what that means. Oh, did you get the one before that one? The uh, Samuel Wright? Mm -mm. Oh, that's one right before the 499 green. Put, put them oh. over here, dog. Let me see oh. what you do. My bad, my bad. <laughs> you tripping. Oh. You just going through the stuff like I ain't, I'm not here. Samuel Wright, he asked. Uh, dog, bro. Uh, here's a question that's probably only for me, but he said, how much do you think the rehydration oh. was affect in this fight? I don't think it was an effect in this fight, oh, no. and I, and I'm and the only reason why I don't think it's an it, it was an effect in this fight because Ryan was showing along the way what he was doing in camp and where his weight was and all those types of things. And I always like to say, if you bring the weight off slowly, you bring it off correctly. If you bring it all off last minute, your body might not operate the way it's supposed to. So I really, even in the moment, had a hard time believing that that specific shot was a direct effect because he lost too much weight especially he didn't lose too much weight in a short amount of time at least you know he was ex he was showing us that he was you know hitting marks 
You know, and that he, to me, from what I can see, it seemed like he was doing it the right way so that this type of situation doesn't happen right. on fight night. Hey, those guys there for a year one situation. Well, that's, that's the reason why. Yeah, Cat. What? She want a picture. She, oh, she, she got it. No, she, she want a picture. She like, has it. Then you get it. There you go. Hey, child. Okay. All right, we got Matt McDonald. Yep. We did that one. No, no, we, uh. No. Nope. nope. Those are, no, you said oh. those are excuses. Why wasn't Goose in there then? Talking about post the post fight. fight. Yeah. yeah. I, I, uh, I would say the same thing, yeah. but no, I don't know, man. Cause but I, I'm okay with Goose. Yeah, the, I, yeah the, Joe, the trainer, Joe, Joe should show up. Yeah, it was him, man. his you dad. That and you ain't the promoter. You, yeah. ain't, you, in, you in war with me, bro. Yeah, we went to war together. We took yeah, this all together, yeah, baby. You got to be there, bro. You yeah. got to be there, man. Yeah. Because if, be cause if we were one, nah, you everybody right. would have been there. That's no, facts. No, you right. I, I give you that one, bro. Why wasn't he there, man? And I knew Goosen too a long time, bro. Yeah. He should have been in the room, man. And he a crip. <laughs> salute Jappy. He she said, It's uh, the worst, bro. Salute fam. With you? Isn't it funny that most Ryan <laughs> fans, <laughs> most Ryan fan are EJ fans? No. What? That makes sense. What? Does that make sense? I guess. <laughs> Zeno Gray, he said Tank versus Dev is the fight to make next. No excuses. Chill, how you how you see that? Because I think he I think the 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 fight that's gonna be tough for Tank will be Shakur. I no, don't think Dev. Real quick, let me say, stop sending super chats because I, I got a few things that I need Ooh, to. No, 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 no. Keep sending super chats. What? This is the it's worst. Wrong with it's him. Man. I need the time. No, 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 no. We'll address it at the end. Okay, we'll take a moment and we're gonna we're gonna do our thing for 30 minutes, we'll get back to Super Chat. Keep sending in, uh, questions in. We'll take we'll yeah. take care at the end. Is that, just, is that a commercial break we can go to? What, it? I'm never, yeah, we, we need 10 dude. minutes. We got it, we need to cut. Who the hell said stop getting money? We ain't talking about money? the knockout. Who said stop getting money? We ain't talked about the knockout. They ran us for every But the people that ain't paying, that's what they waiting on. Uh, the, talk well, about hey, the knockout. Hey, hey, you, that the people that- Both the Super Chats, talk about the knockout. Right, go. Knock right. out. So the fight got excited. Stop it. <laughs> this <laughs> ain't even my podcast. Thank you. Right. So, yes, yeah. so what you, you going to do? I'm going to answer the question because I don't want right. to get kicked off the stage because, you know, you just getting different. So so shout out to. Uh, uh, yelling at me. Yeah. And uh, the loss is damn mine. He thought he was back in the ring. Come on, go. All right. So second, <laughs> we thought the fight was going to take a while to heat up. Second round, counter punch. All credit to Ryan Garcia. I didn't see you getting up. Yeah. I thought that was curtains. Yeah. He took a hell of a counter shot and got up Lord. so fast. Because it was a flash. You, 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 Sean, no, you get hit, but it don't hurt. I don't know, but that was a you shot. Just don't, it don't hurt, right, Sean? That was a shot. And that I was, think it didn't I, hurt. I do. So I have a theory about knockouts, number one. But the other side of this is I just think that even though it was the perfect punch, perfect time and all that, it may, it, it may just not have been the one. It wasn't. It was a it just, flash. It, w it just wasn't the one. It just, it just. It but the, the other side of that, and for anyone talking about the re the 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 rehydration clause and 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 the weight limit all together and all those types of things, the young man was in shape. Oh, he was ready to go. The young he man was got ready. Up. He the wouldn't way have got you up. recover from that, it, it direct to your conditioning. It didn't seem like it did nothing to him. Direct to your Bloody conditioning. Bloody nose. Yep. Mm -hmm. Direct to to his conditioning. So. That that know you, you know mean. that answer was everything you know yeah. and and as soon as I saw him get up the way that he got up he was like this is gonna be I a was long like, night no I just said he's ready for this this fight yeah. he's physically ready for this fight and know? then I think third fourth round I said I can't he's not experienced enough to deal with this boy well what tell you something. I start seeing Tank pulling away and just laughing at him yeah like yeah, yeah. this is too easy yeah but you can see after a while too I mean he was he. It, <laughs> You know, like something on you just try to fight it off. You, <laughs> you ain't throwing no, ain't no leverage nowhere on his punches. Yeah. It looked like he was punching with two hands at one time. And bro. again, I just had a problem with the game plan and preparation for a softball. I never saw him make any, um, any of the moves that we are all taught at young ages when it, when, when it comes to going up against a softball. What I mean by that is like, I know you guys have probably heard so many times the foot and the angle that you get when that foot is on the outside, whoever's got oh, their yeah. foot on the outside, they've got the best angle to land their power punch. punch. That's a fact. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I never yeah. saw that. I never saw him double up on the jab and bring a right hand. I mean, that's probably the most basic 
uh, 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 orthodox combination against the southpaw. Mm -hmm. I never saw a one, two, three. The probably might be even more basic than the double jab in the right hand. I mean, you got a double jab, right hand, and left hook. You got a jab to the head, jab to the body, bring up with the right hand, left. You got so many different combinations that you can throw. Mm -hmm. And I hate that people always say, man, I hate fighting southpaws. No, you just need to know how to fight them. Yeah. And if you started when this kid started, you should know by now. And then if you don't know by now, you should have a coach in your corner that can say, hey, this is what we're going to do. But then these are the basic things that if anything, you in trouble or you just want to get something off to make him look at anything. These are specific things that you can do. And I never saw that in this fight. And it's just like uh, the experience. You could see it. But uh, yeah, I'll, I thought Joe Goosen would take him down and break him back down to the basic yeah. and build little things like that. Yeah, and I, I, don't, I, I hope it doesn't seem like I'm taking shots. At anybody, I just, nah. you know, I yeah. just... We're talking about the fight. When yeah, you get to this level, yeah. you know, and I know I definitely want to get there before we get yeah. back to the Super Chats. We talk about the level, yeah. you know what I mean? So the last thing is the the body shot itself. You called it. What was it that made you... What were you like two rounds in when you sent that text message? But I was about... Before no, no, no. I th That was two days prior. He oh, said to the fight. Two but rounds. he said the fifth round, right? I, I, I bet the fourth round. Right. But I had... But I, it... it he, I said the fifth round. You didn't believe what you said? And then he said the fourth round. Ah. So I said, you know what? Well, you called the wrong guy. He was talking to the hey, wrong guy. I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I'm speaking to somebody with experience. To lose that. But I'm going on my mind. So I said, you know what? Let me go with Zab because Zab said it. So I called Zab. I said, bro, I bet the fourth round. He was like, yo, watch. I said, all right, cool. But what made me think of the liver shot is because I'm like, he's tall. I yeah. said he gonna get inside. Yeah. He gonna work that body. Yeah. And I said he gonna break him down. I said what he gonna do? I said watch this. He gonna get inside. And he gonna stop him with. A, he gonna hit him in that liver. And you know that that stinger. And the way he fell. Was that a bootleg picture? No. Or was that V one? That was the one. That the was one it. that just came up. It was uh, the the body shot that tanked. That was delivered. Was that V one? No. That wasn't V one. That See? wasn't the one. I know my stuff. I, I, I you good. I didn't know myself. Still, I just glanced but, at it. I didn't look at it. But, but here, and but, I can talk about on, this too. But, but, but as y'all saying this, when he took that shot to the head, his defense was all, he was worried about his head. Mm -hmm. Tank started stabbing to the body, tried to get him to drop his defense. Tank, Ryan wasn't having it all yeah, night. Yeah. So right. that's set up. That's also set up the body shot. Yes, sir. But to this punch right here, number one, it's not a punch that, that, that was more of a straight left hand. It wasn't the 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 hook, that the was, left hook that caught oh, right. It looked like that it caught did. Ryan. I got you. But the difference between this punch and the punch that caught him and brought him down, put him down for anybody that's saying he threw the fight or he quit or anything like that. Nah. He was releasing a shot and getting hit while releasing the shot. Exactly. And so it's like he left himself number one, he left himself open okay. for the punch, but he's loose. His his core is loose because he's tied up here throwing his shot. So this is loose. On top of bring it in, and you coming in, you want to meet that that impact. force of coming in and the impact of the, him bringing that. It was a real shot. Oh yes. So yes. number one yes. for anybody that felt like that that Ryan quit, that was a real shot. But then let's talk about that part. What, what? when he go when 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 so, and you guys can you guys can re rewatch it if you want to. What happens is the punch lands, mm -hmm. and Ryan takes one step back. Tank is looking. As Ryan is taking that step, that second step back, Tank is now recognizing that he's hurt. Yes. So once he's on his second step back, oh. Tank is like, I'm, I'm coming for you. And You're also me. smiling, by the way. Oh, I'm feeling it. And also saying, smiling, oh, by the way. Oh, I know you felt that. And that's what, that, that communication right there was like, oh, let me go down on knee because I'm hurt. So, okay, cool. You hurt. Go down on the knee. Correct. I tweeted yesterday, last night. Fear will prevent a man from doing almost anything. So he goes down on the knee. That's 100%. Knee. That's life. So he goes. That's life, y'all. So for anybody talking about Ryan Quit, listen, that's life. So he goes down on the knee, and he's got eight to ten seconds to think about what's going on. And y'all saw him pick his head up because he, he knows I'm a fighter. I'm going to get up. But I've never been here before. I've never been hurt. That kid smiled at me. He's coming for me. Fear prevented him from getting up. It's interesting you say that, man, because a lot of times 
people ask me to talk to people in wheelchairs, such as myself sure. in the wheelchair. They don't, they be afraid. Mm -hmm. They don't want, they, the fear is what stops them from doing the things that they need to do. It's the fear. And I just, so I talked to them, I, then I talked to the families, I said, listen, it, it starts in the chest. Yeah. You got to have the heart. You got to have the determination to go. Like you said, bro, if it's the fear, it's, he ain't got no minutes in the ring, period. Because you got to be ready to die for this thing. You know it. Go, the thing about it is going out on your shield. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. I, there's a lot of things that I learned that I wasn't able to do. Why? Because I took it head on. Yeah. But if I never did it, then I would have been like, Dad, you know, in my mind, stuck. Like, you know what? I would always thought about what if. Yeah. Now he's probably home thinking, what if I got off that floor? The what if? What if I got up off that floor? You you should have got off that floor. He should have got up that floor. Because they asked me last night. I was sitting with the zone, and it was cool to sit with those guys because it was like I got a chance to kind of commentate. They kept – they were standing right there, and they were asking because it was like I got a chance to kind of – you know, get it all out, you know, mm -hmm. and, and commentate the fight. Yeah, let me tell you something. But they said. <laughs> yeah, I would have got up and ran all around that ring. <laughs> just kept keep running, boy. Hey, yeah, remember when. Uh, just keep, run. Keep, keep yeah. Thurman against Pacquiao. Yeah. Yeah. Keep ooh, running. Ooh, ooh, this don't look too good. But then this again, don't nice. judge another man's pain. Yeah. Who knows? Hey, who, that's true, too. Hey, who knows what a man can take? But they asked me. They said, what? they was like, yo, what happened? Why didn't you? I looked down. I said, fear. They said, what do you mean? I said. It's not I, that I he's. It's not that. that he's scared of boxing. It's not no. that he's. It's not even that he's scared of Tank. No. The fear of the what if. I got up off this. Thing. What if I get up and he comes after me and I, he couldn't even get past the what if. I can't even breathe right now. So is there a difference? Because a lot of people are saying he quit. Is there a difference between quit and fear? Fear will make you quit. Obviously. You know. Fear will make you quit. Yeah. Okay. Fear and, and, you know, not to get all philosophical, but fear is not always a bad thing. Um, no. And, and then also, you know what, just to kind of defend Ryan just a little bit, um, he really wasn't exposed for the sake of words last night. Yeah, he went down in the second round, got right back up. Um, there, we really didn't see any holes for the sake of words in this boxing game outside of him being able to outthink another man. You know what I mean? But I, I have to, Maybe I have some to, small holes, but nothing major. Nothing major. But nothing I, major. I just start seeing a lot of arm punches. Yeah. Because I mean, he just it was now you just fighting him, fighting him off you. Yeah. Not fighting him. You're yeah. fighting him off you now. Like yeah. you just you your whole and I'm not, thing is in defense. I you know that's how, that's what I was seeing. Man. I'm think, not. Um. Go ahead. I think this loss makes Ryan a better fighter. Oh, he learned. Canelo Alvarez. He learned a lot. In Floyd that Mayweather. Room, this, we will get a Ryan. I know the kids say he doesn't want to do the sport so long, but we will get a better fighter from him from he, this loss. He, he will learn so much. He learned Sometimes a lot. you just go in a ring and you get schooled. He got schooled, yeah. but you got, he soaked. I think soaked he got game. schooled in a lot of ways. I'm hoping that, you know, I was never one to watch my fights, win, yeah. lose, or draw. I never watched my fights. But if he goes and he looks at this fight, the fights that I have watched, and I, you know, I've, I've done uh, yeah. film, uh, Put it with uh, preparation and Kel Brooks, things huh? like Made that. you a better fighter, bro. Yeah. I never watched that fight. Yeah. But I, I've always been able to just replay things in my head. And what he can do is, mm. and and to my to my point, when I, when I did watch boxing or I watched myself or whatever, mm -hmm. you're able to go back to certain moments and remember exactly what you were thinking at that point in time, exactly what you were seeing at that point in time. And you can, and you can walk yourself through why you didn't throw a punch or why right. you didn't make a certain move why your hand was down and you got caught with the hook and things like that. So, yes, this fight is supposed to make him better. I, I, I really believe so. Now, uh oh, we had an A fighter in the ring tonight, last night, Tank Davis. We had an A-plus fighter in the ring last oh, night. And I said, this is rare. You never see two fighters in their prime, and then you kind of, I kind of pulled back on that. I said, well, you know what? You got Tank, 
in his prime or approaching his prime, and then you got Ryan in some ways coming to his prime. So you got a Tank Davis who's either in his prime or just at the cusp of, I'm a prime fighter now. And then on the other side of that, you got Ryan Garcia who is not in his prime, but possibly approaching this prime, only being 24. He's still got a lot of life to live, a lot of things to mature in, the list goes on. Mm -hmm. But because of his outside uh, ring uh, uh, movement, he has a lot, he has a, a, a fan base that normally wouldn't be there for a lot of fighters at this point in his career. You talking about Tank? Talking about Ryan. 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 Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. And, he, and so he commands more money and more eyes than a lot of fighters at this point in his career. Mm -hmm. So in a lot of ways, no, this was not prime against prime, but this was, for the sake of words, of the boxing world, this was a prime fighter, young, hot, heavy, known against another hot, heavy, known prime fighter. Mm -hmm. But you got A plus That's fighter true. in the ring against... A plus fighter in the we're gonna ring say, against... We're going to say it at the, on three at the same time. You ready? You got. You, let me know when you're ready. A plus fighter in the ring. What did I say? Ready? ready? One, mm -hmm. two, three. B, B minus. minus. Oh, shit. <laughs> I said B plus. You said B plus? I did. Sean Porter is I, B plus. I, I can't put him B plus. I put him in B plus because he's loading though. I, I, I a, a, a B minus man. B minus. You gave him B minus. B minus. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying I'm, I definitely don't want to uh, create this facade that. Hey, what y'all think in the chat? What y'all think? Or make it seem as if boxing just what, just what? got over on us or anything like that. I'm not trying to say that, but because it is what it is. I mean, this kid, he got here. He's here. Why not make this happen now? That's why I give him B plus. But well, you can't get a B plus for you. I'm talking about, I'm talking about in the ring, who you are in the ring, what you do in the ring. In the ring. Last night, what he showed us is not a B plus fighter. It was moments he showed us rookie mistakes. Yeah. Uh, patience. I think patience would would have got him to the deep waters, and then maybe you turn it on. Be okay taking a decision. Got to the seventh round. That uh, ain't good enough. Out of Twelve? Yeah, this ain't good enough. You want to make it be pay, be okay making it to a decision, maybe turn it up late. You can't get overzealous with Tank Davis. <laughs> it, it just, when you, when you think it's going your way no. against Tank, I, I told those guys <laughs> if he if I'm if I fought Tank and I caught him and he wobbles all the way across the ring, I'm I'm still not going to get him. Oh no, you can't. Of course not. Yeah. You can't do that. And I just felt like Ron landed a couple that's shots. That's a guy that's, that don't fight. So, you know, but, but, I'll, 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 I'll okay. allow it. Ron threw, threw, threw the same combination. Almost got his head taken off. Yeah, well, that just speaks to Leo it. Santa Cruz did the same thing. Threw three of the same shots. Well, hold up. What you but saying? he wasn't wobbly. That's what I'm saying. Oh, Leo Santa what Cruz. You no, no, saying, no. What you uh, saying? Uh, if you wobble him, you going to go jump on him? Absolutely. It's called smart aggression. See what so. I mean? I, you, you, know, you know who we talking to, though. I know. You know who you're talking to, though. It's smart. It's smart. <laughs> but you know who you're talking to. You can't. It don't. It's not the same. Apples and oranges. But, it's not the same. I mean, he tried to be aggressive, and when he got, he was taking shots. Yeah. Every time he tried to be aggressive. Yeah, but. If you're not that level of fighter. That's all. You also got to have the intelligence. Yeah. You got to be, now I got to know how to get in there, out of there. I felt like he doesn't have the experience to, what'd you call it? I don't know what I called it. Intelligent aggressive. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Intelligent I, aggression. He's, the kid's still loading it. He don't got that part of the game. Yeah. He ain't been in wars like that. Yeah. All right. To yeah, know what right, he's right, doing right. in that type of moment. Okay. One more time. Tanks is loading. I don't, nah. I don't I think, think so. so. I, I didn't see the, it. The fighter he fought was too good. Mm. Well, he hadn't my been problem. at that level before. I mean, you was ringside, so what'd you see in his eyes? It, it it wasn't so much what was going on in the fight; it was everything that just kind of led yeah, up to yeah, yeah. It was week. I it was kind of like he was trying to manage his emotions. You know, it was like sometimes he was like kind of up, and then he was down. I, I yeah, I, I do, I yeah. I do understand that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if this was a big and too big. This moment was too big for him. I didn't really get that feeling. Mm -hmm. Um, but we we super chat real quick because I like this one, Alex Nico. 
zero nine nine Abel Ryan not getting up preserved his career. Yes, I seen that. I seen that. What do you think about that, Shield? Did that preserve his career? The punishment he would have took when he got up. Chill. Physically, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but that internet, you can't beat that internet. Mm -mm. Yeah. That Man, internet. It's gonna be a whole it. lot of no mas today. Ooh, hey, 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 you boy, know, boy. I'm, I'm, we was cool. I'm, we're cool mm. with Ryan, and I was like, I picked Ryan to get drop. I mean, lose by KO, and I was like, if he lose, I'll take that man, Ryan. I didn't want to see him get punished. Get up, boom, big shots, boom. I'm like, oh, yeah. that, that would have hurt my little soul, man. Yeah, that would have yeah, hurt my little soul. I ain't gonna you lie. Know, you know the damage. He what he was gonna do that. when he got. And so listen to y'all. And I'm like, but my point of, you know, hey, in that moment, he experienced a, a, a question that he did not, could not answer in the moment. What if? And that, that, that is a, you know, that is a kind of a sense of fear or whatever. And so he didn't get up. But the what if is all the things y'all just saying. Yeah. And if I know that I've already lost some rounds and I've already been put down and this fight ain't going my way and I can't get off and. Oh, y'all don't realize in just eight to ten seconds how much goes through our minds. I can't say our because I don't fight no more, but go through their minds. A lot goes through them so fast. That's why they call it fast chess. So why everybody's looking at him saying he quit. Who did he quit against? Sean, you you know, you've been a ring mm. man, chill. Obviously never been in a ring in a world title fight. Uh is it even I know you, man. It's even a question when no matter how bad the shot was, Sean, he was getting I'm up. getting up. He getting Is up. it even a question? <laughs> getting, getting you, Sean up. Porter doesn't even. Oh, I I, hey, man, I, I don't want to take shots at Ryan because that's my guy. But Sean Porter doesn't even question if I'm getting up. Yeah. You didn't see You didn't see Sean hit the canvas when he got dropped. I know, man. And I've seen other fighters. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I say, here go the dramatics. <laughs> But just get up. All oh, this. Get up. The little engine that could. Yeah, just uh -uh. <laughs> what? Hey, man, he, kept, he kept doing it, man. Yeah, yeah, he kept doing yeah. it. That's all this dramatics. It's hey, like, man, just get hey, up. Hey, man. Sean, I've seen. Sean, hey. Sean ain't staying down, bro. <laughs> hey, hey. Cancel that. Cancel that. He going to get up for damage. Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, they got up from each other biggest punches oh that was crazy. and it wasn't even a question like that was crazy. we have to stop they have to stop wilder like wilder all right man it's enough that is it's enough. enough yeah but it's like man you know sometimes it's just i would say it's a difference between a man's heart and a boxer's heart yeah i don't i cannot remember this I, 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 his name is escaping me I, I spar with him uh right before i fought uh sebastian formella and i cannot think of his name and i know if he's watching it or when Spartan? he sees this he gonna be mad at me. I'm my bad, my bad, big dog. I just can't think. It was of your a sparring name. partner. Yeah, yeah. Just and it ain't nobody. You, you yeah. know, it, I, I'm not even gonna waste time looking up his name. But no the problem. the point is, um, he threw a left hook to the body, and I went down, mm. and I was breathing hard. <sighs> <sighs> and my dad. What is thank you? That's yeah. what I wanted to know. This was That's early. What I wanted this to was know. early in you know, camp. You know, I like that story, right? What I mean, this was say? like this was like pre camp. What can he say? My dad got in the in the in the ring, and he you need to be doing this, and you playing around. That's and you why ain't you got hit that, and you ain't focused, and he going in and in and in. And while I'm breathing, trying to get my breath back, I promise y'all, the only thing I was thinking was, this ain't no fight. Damn. If this was a fight, it would have been different. You would have got up. I got up, but just like kind of to y'all point, I don't know. Like you gotta. I was one of those guys like just quitting just ain't kind of it ain't it ain't where I came from you ain't know? your losing pedigree, bro losing ain't where I came from so if you if you was gonna get me you got to get me all the way out obviously we know what happened in the last fight is what it is yeah. but you got it like you got it I got to be waking up somewhere else and 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 then be pissed about it because part of the excitement just kind of where in, we came in, from in you know? old boxing is the gamble that boxes a take that's exactly part of the exactly. excitement that and I'm I don't not here, see no more. I'm not, I'm not here to kind of like to to soften the facade of boxers and say, you know, hey, you know, sometimes it just ain't your night. But as a fighter, like y'all got to understand, somebody, a fighter asked me, might have been Dre, was it Dre? 
No, nah, I wouldn't, Dre. Somebody asked me the other day, it's like, yo, you coming back? And it was a fighter. And I was like, I'm like, nah, man. He said, You ain't coming back? No, it wasn't Macau Fox. <laughs> dude, dude won't. Dude not, trying not to get credit. Could be Macau, but no, 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 But I was like, I was like, no, I'm not coming back, man. What you talking about? He's like, no, nah, you don't miss it. I said, bro, it's hard. Mm. He said, yeah, it is hard. I said, man, number one, it's hard to train. And it's that's a hard night. 12 rounds day, is hard. I call myself training with my brother because I'm going to fight because, you know, my brother fight. I'm, uh, I'm a, and I ain't get past training. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I was done. Them three miles. It's hard. What? Because well, I, I forgot we had to run out that far and we got to run. We got to go back. Uh-huh. I was like, oh, we ain't. That, that's the part that got you. You got to go back. Well, I wasn't built. I got to go back. I wasn't <laughs> built for this, man. Call me a cab. Nah. I'm that's done. how I was. I wasn't. I was never going to run too far that, that I wasn't, that I didn't want to go back. Yo, my brother. I would, I I would much better run one room. mile out and then go back and then decide whether or not I'm going to go one more. <laughs> you know what I mean? Opposed to going out three and then I, I got to come all the way back. smart. I, yeah. My dumb self, we ran out, man. And I, <laughs> I got to, now I'm jogging with him and he's and leaving me further and further and further. And I'm like, yo, I got to go back. Hey, let's answer some of these super chats before we get up out of here. I think we did a pretty good job of recapping this. Yeah, fight. What yeah, y'all well, think? Yeah. think so. Uh, let's let's go with. I, I did see the super chat real quick. What do y'all think about? Um, I think it was uh Ryan versus um, uh, uh, uh I'm losing his name. Um, from from Louisiana. Um, uh, Rigo R- 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 Regis. Regis Regis program. Yeah. Uh, good good fight. Regis gonna be there to fight. Yeah, I like I like Regis in it. Yeah, I like, that was that'll be a good fight. I think that goes deep. Like yeah. 10, 11 rounds. I think right now I gotta go with uh Tank. You said Ryan or Ryan? Ryan? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I was I was gonna Ooh. make it real easy. I was gonna say Ryan, uh um Regis beats Ryan and it's I don't know what that fight Regis ends up being. Maybe with Ryan. Tank. I, that's a 50 50 fight to me. Yeah. So you think it won't Regis, be easy. Regis a, with, oh, Regis with, with and, and Tank. Yeah. And Regis. Regis and uh, Ryan. Ryan. It's 50 50 for you? That's 50 50 for me. Mm. Mm. Man, hey, at the end of the day, man. 70 30. He, he was in there with a guy last I think night. 70 30. Yeah. 65 35. I'm going with you. you I'm going with Ryan on that, bro. Hey, oh, you're going with Ryan on that? Yeah. Oh, you so you think 70 30 Ryan? Yeah, I say seventy thirty Regis. I, I think he learned a lot last one, night. One, bro. Thank you. One thing about boxing Y'all is, like, when a guy win, we we just the loser, we dump to the. I'm not done. Done. No, I'm just, just done. saying. Yeah. And then the winner, the greatest thing in the world. He was in there with a guy last night. Ryan's still a good fighter. He's yeah. a. I said that. I said, yo, him losing that night, it shouldn't discredit him, man. Yeah. Because he lost to a, a killer. Yeah. A straight killer. You're a right. straight killer. A killer. Dude. Yeah. What y'all see next for Ryan uh, Ryan Garcia? Jab X ambition. Uh-oh. Great win by Tank, but I still believe that Shakur beats him. What do you guys think? I'm glad Great you went there. Tank. I still think Shakur beats him. I think we uh, we talked about it. We'll see a better boxing style from Tank. More from Tank. He showed us more. For most. Of, I I think he can he can go right there with Shakur Stevenson. Shakur might have more better defense. But at the end of the day, I still think we haven't seen the best Tank Davis. That's what that's what people always power, power, power. I, we still haven't seen the best Tank Davis. And Shakira, for the most part, he try he 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 comes forward. Mm-hmm. Tank Davis, all oh, he takes is one shot. Mm-hmm. He's a very patient fighter. He doesn't throw a lot of shots, but every shot he throws, he makes them count. I said that's the best chess match in boxing. Definitely. I was getting ready to say, I'm going with Tank. He stops him in twelve. No, just decision. decision. Huh? Twelve round decision. Mm. Uh, he stops. I got him stopping Shakir eleven. Mm. Don't see it. The, the, that, that kid defense. Shakir can fight, man. Hey, the, 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 I'm experience. That could end up uh, power. Being, could I'm actually end up being a draw. I'm, I'm worried. I could even. I would. I would better draw. I'm, see, I'm worried about exactly what I was worried about with with Ryan. Shakir is not fighting nobody. Some guys, man, they just they I could go over there and look great right against a bunch of bums. Shakira can fight, man. No, no, no. He, he's great. He's good. But I just worry about those. When Ryan Garcia didn't get up last night, he never been through a moment like that. Yeah. I worry Shakira Stevenson. That too. I mean, you know, when you ain't never been in a moment like that, that what if is a big hey, what if. Devin Haney versus Linares, he went through a moment. Yeah. Shakira, Shakira, he getting up, bro. Shakira getting up, bro. Has Shakira yes. been tagged? Like, has yeah. he ever really been clipped? Negative. 
That's we don't know until we know. We don't know. And that tank 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 is a different clip. That ain't just a regular clip. You getting clipped. You getting pushed off a cliff. You ain't getting clipped. What, what what fight was that? My man came and, and gave Tank a little bit of run. Roley? Was the Roley fight? Mm. Yeah. Uh, Somebody Barrios? gave Tank Barrios, M- Barrios the big oh, Barrios. Barrios. Yeah, that yeah. was he, that he proved him he had a little chin there because mm-hmm. he gave him some to work with and popped him with some shots. Yes, sir. So yeah. he's been tested and proven. That's that's that could be the best box uh, fighting boxer. But Sean, I just worry it's between gonna... that one and, and Crawford and Spence, which obviously I, th- I thought that was supposed to get announced last yeah, night. Yeah, it didn't get announced. I, 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 I'm past that. Yeah, I'm just saying. Um, are we getting good? Boxing? I love, I love them, but, yeah. but I'm past it. Hey, yeah. if it don't happen, it don't happen. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't happen. I, mm. I don't want to go there because that's a whole nother conversation. Hey, you think uh, if that fight happens, can you be the special guest referee? <laughs> I'm not referee in that fight. Why not? I, Why be not? Special... I think that'll be very I'm interesting. I'm not refereeing that fight, on, man. I'm bro. not no referee. I'm gonna get hit. <laughs> no, you don't know. No, you know they you won't. both go ahead. <laughs> Forget. You are, you are having them killing each other if you was ever a ref. Nah, you know, that ain't even what you do? Hey, I hey don't be- no, you're penalizing. <laughs> hey, time out. One minute to the first, ten seconds to the first. Hey, are you guys gonna fight or not? We came here for a fight. What, what would you do? I, uh, you know me. Uh, <laughs> as soon as somebody go down, I'm trying to catch them. You know what I mean? I'll be out for if y'all can't tell by now, I'll be out for, for fighters' best interests. Yeah. <laughs> be, be no problems. I'll be like, oh, fight over. Uh, hey, I feel you, yeah. Sean. Hey. I'll be like, fight man, over. This kid just took two jabs. Yeah. Nah, man. I'll be like, fight over. Just scratch him on the referee team. Yeah, yeah, he, he don't blow the whole yeah, he, he don't blow it for everybody. Uh yeah. I think that Shakur Stevenson and Tank. um Tank Davis is the best fighter fight in boxing to be made i think it happens yes. next year yeah how y'all, I, yes what about uh devin haney again you're undisputed much respect and oh yeah and i'm glad that you said that because i wanted to rank these guys okay um and then people have been talking about this ranking for a long time and i think that for a long time you were we were disputing and don't forget that tiafimo lopez was in that conversation and lomachenko once upon a time and lomachenko were they were in that conversation once sure upon a was. time. Yeah. They not in that conversation no more, are they? At all. Yeah, right? For what? Yeah. yeah. For what? My number one is Tank Davis. My number one, one is one Tank Davis. Davis. He's been he's been Tank number he's been my number one for I don't know, as long as he's been talking about four years, three three to four years we've been talking about this. Yeah, man. With those guys. I mean I mean, yeah, man. I went to the uh, Shakur Stevenson there. just got there. He's my number two. Shakur's Shakir, number two. Shakur's number two. Yep, I agree. And I don't know what happens in that fight. Tank, 12 rounds. There's a, there's a specific recipe required, I believe, to beat Tank. And I, I, I honestly believe that Shakur has the gifts, the talent, the athleticism, everything within that recipe. And I actually believe he has that recipe. <sighs> You just say that. And I'm not, not like saying that he. To you, dog. I'm not saying that he's prepared for him already. Everything I be thinking one way, and here you go with your analysis. Well, when I look at the way go most fighters off. box, I think it's a match made in heaven. It's the match made in heaven. Now I'm, I close my eyes and I'm thinking I'm watching Shakur fight. Man, those more punches than Tank. Yeah, that could be a problem for him. It could be a problem for him. And the thing about it is, his defense is good. If it goes the distance, you said tie. Yeah, you said a draw? I, 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 you said yeah, draw. y'all don't, don't nobody want to hear a draw, but it's gonna be Who you and taking? this is gonna be a straight I got, up. I got an eleven round stoppage by Tank. Tank. If he don't stop him, who would you gonna give it to? Uh, uh, I got Tank eight four. Mm. He says draw. I say Shakur throws more Our guest punches. is on the line. If we go twelve rounds, I think Shakur got it. One moment, sir. Okay. Yeah. I think Shaquille got it. If yeah. he if it goes twelve, yeah, because he throws more punches, he ain't gonna hurt Tank. Devin Haney, uh, Devin even Haney. though he's undisputed, he's he's just three. I just think that he's still. I don't maybe, and I don't think I'm missing nothing. He's 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 tremendous, he but beast. he's not. I, I wish he had some power behind that. That'll put him in a different. I category. think he do. Uh. I think he do. He's I mean, a, serious he's a big power. kid too. You know, hey, what I mean? so that's it's hard. Why I thought it'd be even going bigger. down to thirty-five, it's hard for him to have the kind of power because, you know, you put on muscle, you can't make that thirty-five. Tank weight class, been tanking you know? for a minute. Yeah, 
Yeah. And he's just carrying it. Yeah. yeah. Just carrying it. Yeah. How many, well, how many knockouts he's in? Do y'all remember? Did, did, did y'all ever have the conversation? Who's the weakest link? On on this? Yeah, because well, once upon a time, saying, uh, the weakest link, at least in the conversations that, I, that I've had, have been between uh, Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. Okay, that's that. Yeah. It, any any conversation that I've so had, it's going, always been. But who Devin Haney? Devin so who Haney goes for? De- because if we want to take Devin five, Haney ain't go up against Tank. Yeah. So I, that's a hell of a fight too. Whew. Yeah, they all good fights. We can round robin them. Yeah, that's a hell of a fight. Listen, man, I need y'all to get behind these yeah. fights, man. Y'all need to come out, man. Y'all need to represent and come out for these fighters, man. Hey, chill. You've been watching fights for a while. One thing I don't like about boxers, and you know, we get we got a lot of casuals showed up because I got nephews texting me about the fight so i know it's a casual event when uh it's a big event in boxing when the casuals come out like that but it's like when we get what we want we wanted this fight we get it and then the loser lose he sucks uh, <laughs> he didn't even deserve to be on this level boxing gives you what you want but then my man shows up and fights now he the worst thing in the world because he lost you then you get in the ring <laughs> let me see you get in the ring and do what garcia did show he showed up and I mean, dude, now nah, you you can't look, man. That's what p- people just. I think Mike Tyson ruined it for boxing because mm. everybody got accustomed to that knockout. Yeah. They didn't get it. They don't. They don't like to see the chess match. I love to see that. I love to see like when I watch football, man. I love to see defense. I want to see mm. you keep stopping the ball. I guarantee y'all. I love that. I guarantee it. And, y- and y'all know I, I'm a 50 50 guy. I don't know who went in this fight. I guarantee y'all, Shakur Stevenson and Tank Davis is a chess match for six rounds at least. Ah, uh, see that? At least six rounds. Gotta be. Yeah. Because, bro, you know at any given moment, one shot can change history. Yeah, and Shakur is smart enough to know that to himself. Exactly. Hey, come on. he You know he watching. He know that man hit and him. That's my thing about Shakur. He is set in who he is as a fighter. He believes in what he can do. I believe in it because I've seen it firsthand. But it's hard. So what you do and what Tank has been able to do is get guys to to move to the beat of his drum. She can't move into that beat. No, he, no. He no. coming in with some music of his own. Yeah. And that's why I thought Joe Goosen was going to bring that calmness last yeah. night. Yeah. But when you get in that heat, yeah. you don't care what you, you've been coached. You're going back to your DNA. Bro, Coach Calvin felt, said that about Leo Santa Cruz. And I felt like they the way it, they came out in the they, second round, I, th- I just thought that that was the end, that was the corner adjustment. Go get them. And I was like, no, no, no. no. Don't like, do that. I was like, oh, come Mike, on. That means Joe Goosen, that's the Hail Mary. Mike said, everybody got a plan to you get in the mouth. Once then what, you get in the mouth, that's it. Okay. So didn't, Jill, he just got hit in the mouth, Sean. He went back to the corner. What, what, what Joe Goosen did? Because in that third round, I didn't. Oh, yeah, no, no. He, I mean, he kind of went back to let, let's wait for it. Let's wait for it. Let's wait for it. You know? That's what he was telling. Well, I, I, I got to imagine they went back to what they were doing in the second round or in the first round. They went back to that in the third round. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Back to the game plan, which was just kind of let's, let's wait. Let's, let's react. You and know? hey, can't chill. Can't be reactive against, against Tank. And Ryan, you're a ringside. When he starts throwing the Hail Mary, left hook, I said, it's over. Ooh. He just going for his shot. Yeah. yeah I say. And he was throwing wide, too. Yeah, he was just. A couple times he had it set up where he almost landed, but couple then he times. just. It just became a shot. Yeah. Yo, couple but times. did you see in the fourth round? It was the end of the 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 end of the round. And Shaquille. Shaquille, now you got me. Th- tank through that shot. And it just. It it, it would it would, it would have been two more inches to, to the right. Everybody said, ooh. Everybody, the whole ring said, ooh. <laughs> he was going down, bro. Did this fight deliver? I think this is the last question for this fight. Did this fight deliver? Yeah. Yeah. The the way the fight ended for a moment was just a little uh, anticlimactic for me, mm-hmm. but I got out of that like almost instantly. You know, you see the way Tank started to celebrate and do but, his thing, and it was like, yo, forget the fact that he didn't get up and we didn't get more, like, get his kid his flowers. You know what I'm saying? But it... It didn't for me because that's what I predicted to happen. Oh yeah, yo, he was good over there. Was I was good, good over there. there. I was like, I I knew this body shot was going to do him. Yeah, hey, we appreciate the super chats. 
<laughs> uh, I'm I'm sorry if I cut y'all off. I'm sorry that we didn't get to some of y'all. Um, we do we try to keep this under 130. Of course, with this being as big as it was, we had an extra guest in the studio today. Thanks, Chill, for for rocking with us all the time. Play with I got a gift. I, I what, what I consider to be a gift for y'all. This is not. We usually do the motivation at the end, but um, I don't know if y'all saw, but uh, amateur boxing made a big move. This past week, did y'all see that? No. It was not this week. It was last week. Yeah. So I think it might have been last Thursday, last Wednesday, or last Thursday. World boxing was announced. And so for anyone who's kept up with boxing in the Olympic Games, um, boxing was cited for corruption. Um, I think last Olympic Games, and uh, it was announced that boxing will be in the 2024 Games, Ooh. which are in Paris will not be in the 2028 games, which are in L.A., henceforth. Meaning the Olympic Committee has done their research, done everything they need to do to say, hey, this sport, you guys are not conducting this the way it needs to be conducted. It's a dirty sport. Here. It's not being conducted the way it's supposed to be conducted. So we we cannot have this a part of the Olympic Games. No, no, no. This is the This is the world, not just us. Yeah, this is the Olympic Committee. So I'm saying you said it's going to be in Paris, but the 2024 in, games, which right, are in, in Paris, the 2028 games, the 2028 games, which are here in LA, yeah, is no when boxing. so there there's the process, and so the process means this is going to take some time. We're going to let you guys ride it out in 2024, mm-hmm. but post 2024, you're gone, That's you're crazy, done. Crazy, Sean. So no more boxing, no more boxing. So they not. I thought you meant like they're going to shut it down revamp get this fix it no this period so then as so all you can do at this at that point is turn pro just so then as we were moving forward oh wait a minute we're finding more things going on 2024 oh is in jeopardy wow yeah so the reason why i'm talking about this is because i'm connected with usa boxing i'm connected with the olympic boxing i have been for some time i've been telling y'all hey is that's where it comes from. Yeah, any any of the greats y'all ever seen, it starts in the amateur program. Well, guess what? Now our amateur program is in jeopardy. Yeah. And Whoa, so that's big. People around the world, or not people, but some of the associations, the com- the countries around the world, want to do something about this, and they have. And so I got a representative right now from USA Boxing who is involved with World Boxing, which was announced just this past week. So for anyone who doesn't know, we used to have AIBA, A-I-B-A. And I, I know um, Chris is going to come on and he's he's, he's really going to get into this. And we, we really want to take less than, we want to make it less than 10 minutes, but uh, this story is going to grow. And as this story grows, I want you guys to understand this right now so that you can be along on this journey where boxing, which has been in the Olympic Games ooh, since, since the 40s, I believe, maybe even earlier than that, is now being be, is in jeopardy of not being in the Olympic Games. And I mean, it's we've seen where last night there were NBA players at the game. Shout out to Doctor Doctor J. Dr. J. Was, J in Dr. The building, J was in bro. the building. Actors, actors, actors. Mark Wahlberg. Mark, I mean, the yes, list sir. goes on. Yeah. Yeah. Chill, Daryl, Chill Mitchell. Yeah. <laughs> one of this is one of the few. Hey, sports. I am not going to say my name, dog. <laughs> I, said it. I, yeah, said yeah, it. I said it. You said it that as an afterthought. This is one of the few See, sports. See, now we get too close. <laughs> now, now you, my boy. See that? Now, now, now I gotta. I can't come back hey, for hey, another hey, six months. Hey, real quick. Hey, you sent me a video. You talk, you you used, the, you used the wrong Anthony, but I'm gonna let you slide. Focus up. Focus up. Focus what up. What I send you? This is this is one of the few sports that really oh, does tripping. touch the world. And and you know, with that being said, I want to welcome to the Portaway Podcast, Chris Cugliari, Cleveland native, nonetheless. What's up, oh, boss? There you go. He's from there Cleveland. You go. Yeah. Hey. How you doing, man? What's going on, guys? I'm doing, doing really well. Hey, congratulations on a great weekend for you guys, and thanks so much for having me on to talk about this important issue, as you said. Yeah, uh, I know. I, I I was trying to do your job for you, man, and I told you, like, yo, you, when we were on the phone the other day, and you laid this out for me, I said, yo, can you do that exactly how you did it on the line? Uh, but tell us real quick about world boxing, and uh, let's start with what world boxing is. Yeah, sure. So just a quick background. I mean, let's start USA Boxing as a national governing body. Yeah, so USA Boxing as the national governing body of Olympic style amateur boxing in America 
it's actually required not just from its own constitution, but by federal law, the Ted Stevens Act, to be part of the Olympic movement. So a lot of the support and infrastructure that is provided by the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee has contingencies on USA Boxing being part of the Olympic Games. So if the sport of boxing were taken out of the Olympics, it would really have devastating consequences for amateur boxing around the world, even down at the grassroots level. So, you know, I bring this up because, as you mentioned, as of right now, the sport of boxing has not been included on the program for the 2028 Los Angeles Olympics. The International Olympic Committee, the IOC, um, actually doesn't appear to have a concern with the sport of boxing itself. It actually seems to like it. Uh, the, the Washington Post commented that boxing provides racial, economic, and gender diversity that you don't see in a lot of other Olympic sports. And so this is really due to the ongoing concerns with the current International Federation, IBA, formerly known as IEBA, around governance and how decisions are made to run the organization, prioritizing the needs of the boxers, fairness in the field of play in terms of refereeing and judging, and then also the financial management of the organization. And so, you know, IEBA actually was not part of the Tokyo Olympics, Sean, which you, which you worked with. Mm -hmm. um, the IOC, who really never governs Olympic competition, actually stepped in and did this. They are going to also do that for the Paris 24 games, but they've said that this is not what they do, so they have no intention of doing this beyond the Paris Olympics. And so these concerns around the International Federation of IBA um, do not appear to have been addressed. The IOC has continued to voice these concerns. And so we're really in a crisis stage right now where in order for you know, boxing to remain part of the Olympic movement, USA Boxing and a lot of other national federations believe that a new international federation has to be established to step in and run on proper governance, fairness in the field of play and financial transparency. So that's why World Boxing was established. Perfect. And wow. can you can you talk a little bit about how it became, how it started, you know, how everything got going? Yeah, sure. So I can tell you that USA, as well as other national federations for boxing, really gave best efforts to try to reform within the current federation of IBA. And I think there's a there's a rabbit hole you can go down online in terms of what's happened over the last few years. Uh, but the long and short of it is that you know, the, the governing body of IBA and the leadership um, have not addressed the concerns that the IOC have required. And mm -hmm. so uh, back when IBA was suspended in 2019, its Olympic recognition was suspended by the IOC. We always said all options are on the table. And so really what has happened is um, really since 2019, the option of an additional international federation to govern Olympic style uh, amateur boxing was was really something that we were thinking about. And so uh, World Boxing was established actually in December. There was a general assembly where an interim board of, of directors was uh, was nominated. And so one of them is Tyson Lee from the United States. Uh, Great Britain, the Netherlands were part of that as well. That's since grown. And actually Richard Torres, the, the silver medalist from the Tokyo Games, yeah. is on the interim board of directors as well, as well as representatives from Sweden, the Philippines, Germany, New Zealand. So there's a good representation on this board. And uh, actually, membership applications for countries is going to go out this week. Nice. And starting in May, countries will have the opportunity to apply for uh, admission or apply for um, membership to World Boxing. And there'll be a Congress at the end of the year in November where a new board of directors is going to be elected. And, and really, the goal is to seek recognition from the IOC uh, immediately, but it probably will happen uh, sometime within, you know, I think, hopefully within the next year or two so that boxing can stay in the Olympic program for 2028. Mm. Yep. Wow. You guys got any questions for him? No, I'm just um, there. Yeah. Yeah, um, I think maybe one question I do have is, can you kind of, and I'll talk about it a little bit more as well, but just kind of talk to why this is so important um, to the United States, to the USA boxing? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it touches on what I mentioned earlier, which is um, boxing as a sport, this is really one of the only Olympic sports where a young man or woman can come from any circumstances, really rise up and be able to represent his or her country on the national, on, on the global scale, really, as part of the Olympic movement. And it's, it's really valued within the United States and in other countries. And so if the sport is off the Olympic program, a lot of the resources that come from the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee really go away because there's contingencies on being part of the Olympic Games. And so you think about all the benefits that that it comes with that right there's a training center for a high performance team in colorado springs 
There's a national staff of people that work to put on competitions. Um, there's coaching certifications. There's official certifications. All of this that are really tied to boxing being in the Olympic Games. And it would just have really devastating consequences for the development of talent through the amateur ranks globally, not just in the United States, if, if boxing were off of the Olympics. And so, um, again, I think a lot of leaders throughout the world, throughout the world said enough is enough. Um, this is really what we have to do in order to keep boxing in the Olympic Games. And so world boxing is, is really focused on putting the needs of the boxer first, strong governance that provides checks and balances so somebody doesn't have too much you know, control, financial transparency, a diversity of sponsors and funds coming in, and then also third-party oversight of the field of play so that all the processes such as which referees and judges are selected, all of that is overseen by an independent group so that it can't be manipulated. How is the support uh, worldwide with this so far? It's a great question. And so, um, you know, I think that the that's reality a is- question. I was, That's what I was going yeah, to it's, it's a good question. It's a good question. And, and what I would say is that, you know, national federations such as USA Boxing, there's been a lot of communication with each other. And it's very important to a lot of countries that they are part of the Olympic movement. Um, there are different national Olympic committees that are in touch with their own boxing federations. And I think that voice has grown much louder recently that countries are really going to be in trouble if they're not part of the Olympic Games. And so uh, I think that the support is growing. I think that we will succeed. And I'm confident that you know, we will have a substantial amount of countries that join world boxing here in the near future. Uh, and, and then this will ultimately prove our case that world boxing should be the International Federation for Olympic style boxing. Well, I'm going to say this, man. Um, it's not a question. It's a statement. Okay. At this point, got to pull a race card. Mm. Oh, God. You got to pull a race card, bro. And I'm not just talking about African Americans, man. I'm talking about Latinos. I'm talking about because, like you said, the bottom line is, man, this is an opportunity for people to pull themselves up out the mud, mm -hmm. out the mud. And it's been that way throughout history. The reality is, if you check the records, African Americans in America has singly, hands down, gave you some of the greatest fights ever that ever happened. And it gave them the opportunity to get themselves out the mud. And I'm telling you, man, I, the bottom line is, bro, I understand there's some things that probably went on. But you know what? Look, it's a lot of things. They, they still running horses, too, ain't they? <laughs> it's still running horses around the world. Tell me ain't no dirt in that. <laughs> Yo, bro, we got to, no, you got to pull that card, bro. So with that being said, Chris, just really <laughs> quickly, tell everybody how they can support uh, World Boxing, like the, the website and everything, so people can start to look, you know, research Facts. and all that kind of stuff. Yes. Yep. Appreciate it. So we have our, our website is worldboxing.org. You can actually see all of our governance documentation. You can see more background information about World Boxing there. You can follow us on social media, uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. It's at official world boxing. Uh, you can use the hashtag time for world boxing. I know lots of our USA boxing alumni out there that want to know how they can give back to the, to the amateurs. Well, what better way than doing your part to keep boxing in the Olympic games. And yeah. so really reaching out to USA boxing, being part of this movement with, with, with world boxing. I appreciate everything you guys can say you've said, and I couldn't agree more that uh, boxing provides opportunities and, and quite frankly, boxing provides stories that are probably the best that the Olympics have ever seen. And it needs to yes. remain a part of the Olympic movement. And so, uh, you know, really appreciate you guys having us on and, uh, again, we're confident that this is going to succeed and that, that boxing, uh, will succeed. Yes, sir. Hey, Chris, thank you so much for coming on and kind of getting everybody abreast to, to what's going on with world boxing. Um, we are definitely going to, document this and, 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 and keep it at the forefront of the Port Away podcast as much as possible. I personally, I started boxing in the USA Boxing when I was eight years old. I'll never forget, it was the winter time, and my dad just said, get up, we're going downtown to get your book, buy your boxing book. Had no clue what that was. 
And I know Dre, uh, Andre Ward, he just mentioned a, cu a couple days ago that he just found the very first book that he had. It gets like, his entire history from when he started boxing at 80 pounds. You know what I mean? So it's a big deal. And I know that a lot, like, like we all understand, it gets you out of some of the worst circumstances. On, and not man. everybody comes from the worst circumstances, but boxing will get you where you want to go in life. Uh, I've been around the world, and last thing I'll say is um, I boxed on the uh, the uh, USA Pan American team in 2007. I think I learned about Venezuela when I was in fourth grade, and I and I was just in, I was just enamored. I said I'm going to I'm going to Venezuela one day. Mm. Looked up in 2007, and I was in Venezuela. Come on, bro. And we were we were on the bus going to the fight. I didn't even think about it. I knew I was going to Venezuela for for months ahead of time. But when I'm on the bus in Venezuela, I just stopped. I was like, whoa. I said I was gonna end up here one day. I was gonna come here one day, and here I am. You know what I mean? So, See, boxing I mean? helps you realize dreams. You know, oh. so we we definitely want to support world boxing, and I'll do yes. my part by you know Hank, reaching out to those other champions of today who were one once upon a time champions of amateur boxing, and so that we can all you know support this and keep it moving, man. And Thank I, you. And Chris, if we can get a Chris in every country like you, we're good, man. Hey, cause hey, hey, my man Chris, the passion and the love and yeah. the I, the effort now everything you putting into this man. If we can get one of you at every country, yeah, yeah, we good to go. Yeah, we'll I be know, down know, for, I, to thirty twenty eight. I know Chris, it might have been a little uncomfortable to hear you hear me say <laughs> pull the race card. You know what I mean? I know you. Are, yeah, Chris can't in, do that. In the, in the elements we in today, you know what I mean. But this, what I said is no reflection of you or you know the PWP. You know hey, what I mean? Chris from Cleveland, just, he's seen it all. But yeah, exactly, I know he's going now. But we ain't getting off air. Then you're gonna be like, yo, brother, I get it, brother. <laughs> no, sir. We're gonna talk about it right there. Hey, Chris, take care, man. We'll, I'll talk to you later. All right. Thanks, guys. Congrats on all your success. All right. Thank, Thank you. Stay blessed. So you. Chris is a is a big fan of the podcast. Has been for a long time. Oh, I'm not going to take much more time, but I just wanted to expose what's going on. Oh man, because you will look up bro. if you're a boxing fan, which a lot of uh, everybody hurts. on this podcast yeah, is everybody, the majority. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, when you're when you're a boxing fan, and then you heard that the Olympics is on, because let's keep it real, there ain't nobody like really you know, keeping up where, when are the Olympics? But you hear that they on, you're like, well, okay, well, what's going on on the boxing scene? Yeah. I don't want you to look up and be like, oh, ain't no boxing. I want y'all to know what's going on. And I want y'all to know what USA is doing about it. You know, America, we're really pushing ahead and not that it's about race, but our president is black. And- uh, Oh, I thought you meant I said Obama's gone. <laughs> Hey, no, I'm not no, the one no. thought about that. Okay, cool. Our USA right, boxing, cool. the the president of USA boxing is black, and again, not that it matters, but I have seen um, an energy from him that I had never experienced from any other president that was along the way while I was in the amateur program. So, USA boxing is in good hands. I promise y'all, we got some some medals coming back from uh from Paris. Mm. We got some golds coming back. I'm not saying they all gonna be gold. We definitely got some golds coming back. And um, just I want gotta you guys put that on my agenda, man. I'm, I want to go. I'm yeah. going to Paris for that. Okay, I like it. I'm gonna go, bro. I like it. I should be working, so I'll be there. I'm go I'm coming. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. I'm putting that on my my. Not list. on my flight, Sean. I earlier, don't be, I want to be on your flight. Earlier, you said Where? that boxing uh, was introduced to the Olympics in the 1940s. It was actually 1904, oh. so over 100 years. Oh, oh you switched it. <laughs> All right, got you. Yeah. Uh, over 100, 100 years. years. Hey, we're going live from the Paris. In 2024, man, we're that going, would be lovely. We're doing live from Paris. That would be lovely. We got our live producer over in the corner. Yeah, DDA, this ain't your time, so just relax. <laughs> I'm gonna get you on here, oh, real great. quick. I want to let everybody know where we're gonna be at tomorrow. I said like it's commercial, right? <laughs> I, was, I was like, they ain't about to say something. Hey, hey no, bro. Because when you watch the, the productions, you watch Showtime and stuff, we always say, we, te we tell you what's coming. And it's all, I'm, we always just stand in there smiling and then it fades into whatever it's got. But put up the graphic for the uh, the golf outing, the celebrity golf outing that we'll be at tomorrow. We're going to be doing a live tomorrow. Yeah. I, what time is it? Uh, the, the event starts tomorrow at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Uh, you need oh, yeah. to. Oh yeah, he done uh, somehow, some way. He ain't got nothing for that. I don't know what what happened, Avi. It's it, it's there. It's all good. Listen, y'all can. There's we'll, a folder. We'll be. We'll, are we gonna go live at nine? Uh, well, we'll give him some time. Let's say we'll Sam be Watson live between ten and eleven. We'll be. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I'm giving him a window. Get <laughs> last podcast. I know. Get. <laughs> get uh, all, right, all right. Hold on, producer. I mean, what, what time are you going live? 
9 o'clock. Let's say 10 o'clock. We'll, we'll be live, y'all. But you know, golfers got to get out we'll there be, early, we'll be, bro. Y'all, what you think y'all going to? Huh? You got to get out there early, No, nah, that's bro. facts. That's facts. I get that. I get that. I get that. Because, you know, the tea times, yo, they, they come and go back behind one another. You got to uh, be out first, Are you bro. playing? I've always played. Oh, okay. Yeah, I still hit off this chair. You crazy? Are you playing tomorrow? No. That's my, that's the question. Are you playing? So what you trying to say, bro? I'm trying to say you want to come with us? No. Okay. And then you ain't got nothing to do with this. All right. Uh, we'll be live. We'll, we'll be live tomorrow, 9 a.m. Yeah, he's gonna put it up in just a okay. second. I said yeah. he's nine gonna put it up in just a second. Um, we'll be live tomorrow. And also, I don't know if he's he, if they've got this, but yeah, here, <laughs> just a picture. <laughs> we'll, we'll be live at the Celebrity uh, Golf Classic tomorrow. Um, let me pull out some of these names. It's tomorrow? Yes, yeah, tomorrow. Man, you ain't Monday. doing nothing. It's a Monday morning. Where you going? To the golf tournament. <laughs> what golf I, tournament? The one y'all going to. You going? Man. I'm going to have to. That's Sam joining. I don't go. He going to be twisted. Oh, yeah. Everybody going to be there. You want to? You want, you want so, a... Yep. Just one second. The celebrity uh, confirmed guest, uh, Kevin Hart, Floyd Mayweather. Oh, uh, I go. Confirmed slash invited. Confirms last invited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sugar Ray Leonard said the entertainer will be there. 50 Cent. Uh, Judge Mathis will be there. Uh, D.L. Hughley. I mean, hell, heck of a list. I'm trying to get out of saying hell of a, but heck of a list. Uh, Larry Fitzgerald, uh, Chris Spencer, great comedian, love Chris Spencer. Um, your fighters, Anthony Durrell, Leo Santa Cruz, of course, myself, Deontay Wilder, Danny Garcia. Um, Javante will be there tomorrow. So um, we're going to do what we can to get everybody Anthony on the show. Uh, Sugar, Sugar Ray Everyone Leonard. that was at the fight last night. Anthony and Mike Bruno. Tyson will be, on, will, will, will uh, be there tomorrow. Chill will be there. Dane Lawrence. Ryan Hafey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going. I'm not going. <laughs> so we want y'all, bottom line is DDA. we want y'all to come kick it with us. Um, we'll, we'll get this up and going as soon as possible, uh, as early as 9 o'clock. But um, I think 10 o'clock is a little bit more fitting. Uh, let's do Life Driven real quick because the, this is all centered around Life Driven. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can go to lifedriven.org, I believe, and um, you can see all of the information on Life Driven. It is a uh, foundation geared towards uh, helping, funding, mm -hmm. uh, supporting kids with cancer. They do everything from trips to Disneyland to uh, trips to Disney World. They'll send you to Disney World. So that's a, a great do foundation. Too. Uh, yeah, it's, it's okay. a great foundation. and. And uh, we we support them. We, we want you guys to support them too. There's a way to um to to support and donate to uh, Life Driven as well. Great great um, foundation that we we enjoy being a part of. Um, that is it for the day. Hey, chill. I love you, big dog. I love you too, bro. You yeah. know that. Yeah, yeah. Nothing but love. No, man. nothing but love. You know what it is, dog. Yeah. Facts, man. And with that being said, this is the portal way. <laughs>